What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra rocking the witch's hat back at it with another video. Oh, uh, yes, we have a thunderstorm in progress. My bad. My dark magic took him out the first time during Trump's administration, so I will use my magic in any way, shape, or form that I can to protect those who deserve to be protected. Sweet. What up, King Cobra fam? It's your boy, King Cobra, back at it with another food review. Got a large Coke, an Oreo shake, and we got some Burger King, baby. We're going to do a food review. So I'll be getting that Teespring money pretty soon, actually. Hopefully tomorrow or today. We're going to do a review of Burger King's new Garlic King Sandwich. We made ours a double. Well, how else are you supposed to eat a burger with a fork and knife? The f out of here. This whole cobra eats his burgers like an apple is. It's dumb. It, it makes no sense. It's not even clever trolling. It's just stupid. You know, I'll still have money by the time it comes in and covers both times I've ordered this. All right, this is a double garlic baking king burger we got flame broiled beef two patties of beef bacon two slices of cheese there were a garlic mayonnaise sauce and these crispy garlic uh garlic chips if i was to order this from the actual restaurant i would get extra cheese for that bottom patty and maybe like a side of ranch to like squeeze on top of it but other than that it's pretty good youtube well, I don't really have any money for booze at the moment, but that's all right. Surprised you didn't buy booze first. You're hilarious. I'll drink booze on my live stream if I want to or not. Boy, you ain't big enough to tell me no. I've seen one of the foodies I'm subscribed to do a review on that, and I was like, yeah, I'll, look, I'll give it a try. First time I tried it was yesterday. And I didn't like the way it turned out the first time, so I'm like, God damn it, I have to redo it again. But that's, that's all right. What up? Hanging out with uh, Alex Campbell. How you cool Cobra's doing? What up, Exhumed Visions? What up, Deathbed Tapes? Sipping on some more water and tea at the moment. Yeah. Doing some black tea. So how'd you uh, make that Guinness when you were in jail? Uh, tea, coffee, uh, like splendid sweetener, and just a pinch, tiny little pinch full of salt. Came up from Patreon completed. You yeah, have $65.90. We're going to transfer that because my bank account is pretty much low in the negative. What? Why were you in jail? Information verification for missing battery. The what? Information verification for missing battery. Did you join an organized group in jail? No, he says. Is that myself? CJ says, well, what's your favorite jail food? Pizza. They said, speak <laughs> up, we can't hear ya. He said, it makes me feel young now. I'm only 28. 28. Shit, you're 28. Yeah, I'm 30. Can I grab some of that? Yeah, go for it. Did that do it? Yeah, that works, dude. Go for it. No, I don't want to take too much. Dude, I can play a patch, but don't worry about it. No oh, shit. That's a Black tea, huh? Yeah. That's what's up. Well, maybe I'll get some booze when I get my uh, my wand money. They they gotta take care of bills first. You have any uh, crazy jail stories? Yeah. Just being sat in my cell and read books, you know. There you go. 
Do you have a black market market in jail? Nope. It has some IT. It's not bad. It's very beautiful. Boil it in a pot. That's good tea, man. Yeah. Oh, I figured out the formula to gunpowder in jail. Really? Yeah. One part charcoal, one part sulfur, and six part saltpeter. Yes. <laughs> now I'm straight for of age women. That are alive. People are saying they sent money to my PayPal. Well, I can check it real quick. Oh, hell yeah. $3.47. That is appreciated. No, he hasn't. No, it's the student Goldfinger that I know. Go get you and Warlord some beer. Yeah, I'm planning on it. Payment from Joshua Powers. Thank you for the $4.20 donation. I appreciate that. Hey, throw my letters away, that sucks. I was visiting nine years like that's brother Anyways, YouTube. Yeah. I'll catch you later. So yes, King Cobra fam, I bought a 12 pack of Bud Light Platinum, two forties of old English, and two monster chaotic energy drinks. Oh, Alex Campbell just got out of prison for some bullshit. In jail, not prison. <laughs> no jail, I mean, yeah. Hey, yeah, I never he got no prison. <laughs> no. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, Alex just got out of jail. I haven't quite messed my life up that completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your boy King Coke was just waiting patiently for an of age girlfriend. It'll happen one of these days when they at least expect it. I want to grab me one way or up. Thank you, sir. There you are. Good, sir. You are welcome. Then I know what books you read in jail. Oh, I read one that was sent to me by the author. It's an uncorrected proof. Uh, she wanted me to do a review on it, and they actually let me review it and write her letter back. Um, was the bright and the pale. It was pretty cool. I read Michael Christian's Timeline, Jurassic Park, Lost World. I read Dune. But I'm officially divorced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised that you and my ex-wife get along better than how than we did when we were married. <laughs> yeah, go figure, huh? And I gotta do truck tomorrow. Unloading truck. Okay. Twice for the week for the story we're at. I gotcha. Might as well grab another one of those. Yeah, just uh, leave me six. Warp Lord! Who's at your house? We got uh, Alex Campbell. What's up, uh, <gasps> Yo, what the fuck? It's up! Yo! Yo! Warp Lord in the Party in the house! Yo. So how do you feel, dude? What, what's going on? Uh, I got divorced in jail. I spent, uh, I got released 43 days early. I was in the hole the entire time, so 23 hour lockdown. Holy shit. I, Alex. Went to to visit. I didn't get personal mail or phone calls, so. How long were you in the hole for? Uh, four months, four and a half months. They told, me, they told me my time would go quicker if I spent the entire time in the hole. So I said, fuck it, sign me up. <laughs> Dude, ladies and gentlemen, that ain't even, that ain't even. Yo, that's actually crazy. Hey, oh. you make a mom. I've been in there seven months. Cool, well, yeah, well, yeah, it's no picnic, you know that. Oh, yeah, it, it, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't no, no picnic. picnic. Hell no. Mm -mm. And I got hygiene and all that shit. I got three bags. I got a bike given to me since I got out. Wait, Goldfinger was in the hole too? For seven months. 
My two oh, it's totally weird. Right I mean, I don't words. have complete silence at night other than the guards walking around, mm -hmm. you know. You I don't have a lot of popping. shit, you know. You don't hear the doors popping at night. You don't hear the staff walking around. You don't hear... Goldfinger, oh, why oh. were you in for? What did you do? Um, First domestic, time or second time? Domestic I guess both. Both. First time I went in, I went in for property destruction, assault on an officer. Second time I went in for assault on an officer. Um, and Seems to be a theme I here. Charge from spitting on an officer. You look thicker. Like you look like you gained. I weight. gained weight. I gained weight. I can't feel. Totally gained weight. Yeah. Go ahead. You must have feel oh, good. Right <laughs> <laughs> Red tattoo. Yes. Last night and <laughs> Josh, your turn, and then Goldfinger. You got a plus two, motherfucker. Yeah, right. I don't know. Josh yeah, might win. Josh might win. Yeah. Hold on. 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 That this is, is such a long time, dude. Fuck yeah. Hey, so, Alex, do you gotta, like, do shit now? Like, do you have to go to probation? Do you have to go see fucking... You Fuck know what I mean? no, that's why I got that shit. Take care All of it. All right, good, 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 dude. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right, yeah. Dude, we're not good. child support. We're not good. We just child support. Right. That's not sure we're doing any service. service. Right there. <laughs> 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 Josh's hair looks so fuzzy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna get my headphones. I'm not gonna be ashamed to admit this, but uh, you were one of my main thoughts in jail. Did you jerk off to me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I heard about <laughs> Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, Goldfinger right. is getting a, exceptionally feely. I don't like that. No, nah, I'm not even. No, I'm not I'm, I'm just cool down. Like for breakfast. Goldfinger, let's see you flex. Flex, <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Alex. Alex, for real. I'm so happy you're out. There. You realize in jail he did my bitch, right? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Be the other way around. <laughs> oh, fucking girl, dude. I love Goldfinger. Come on, oh bitch. Oh, my God. Bitch. I miss Alexander <laughs> Campbell. Oh, he's taking off his vest. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, Sit down. No, yeah, none of this. None of this in my apartment. Please. Yeah, none of it. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you two, enough of this shit. Sit and stay. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's have a dick measuring contest, man. <laughs> you put your shirt on. There was no, there was no contest in there. <laughs> no, this shit in my apartment, thank you. There was no contest there. Okay. We now already know this. My daddy taught me it, how to it, fight, man. It's all fair. Telling you, man. It, it's all fair in love and war as long as you make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a fucked up individual. Uh, you too, <laughs> huh? You too? Yeah, just give me credit for being honest. Same, man, same. Fucking fucked up in my head. You better be able to play Sega. Oh, I've played Sega ah! before. Oh, I've played Sega before, dude. It's a fucking amazing game. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hey, Cobra. What you, what you think about a Viking ponytail? I'm trying to get that this hair long enough for a Viking ponytail. What the fuck you think about it? Dude, what do you think I got, dude? Well, you got that Viking ponytail. You got that Viking braid going on. Yeah, dude. But I got see, Viking ancestry, bruh. I, I I could tell. I could tell. But like, look at Oh fuck yeah. yeah. Oh fuck yeah, man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
I don't know what the fuck you're, dude, you don't, I feel like that's cops in general. If you don't give them a reason to harass you, they won't do it. Right? Yeah. They won't. See, I, but I got that reputation with them since I was six. Ever since I was six, I'm in and out of fucking WBI, fucking YCC, fucking Jail, jails, JDC, fucking yeah. in and out of placements. That's all right, cop. That's all because the cops so. don't like me. They try to catch everything I do wrong. Catch the cops don't like me whatsoever. <laughs> well, I'm good with it though. As long as I don't do nothing wrong and they approach me when I'm doing nothing wrong, I'm going to be like, fuck you want? I ain't doing nothing wrong. Get the fuck out of here. Right? Right? Mm. Well, when, you're in there, good. when you're in there for seven months and you got to you gotta beat some fucker up and you're fat and you can't move, you get the motivation to work out. You get I, didn't the motivation have, I didn't have to work out to take care of a problem. <laughs> yes. See, well, I'm a skinny white boy. I'm a skinny white boy. I need the muscles that I got. I need them. I also got a family membership of the Aryan Brotherhood, so I was good. I don't. I was good. I don't. Uh, I mean, I don't want it either because I got a lot of black siblings. Well, not black well, siblings. I got, I, got one, a- I got one black sibling, but he's the most racist person I know. See, I got one black cousin. <laughs> no, I got it. Fucking King Cobra. King Cobra right there. Yes. This is how you establish a cult. One person at a bloody fucking time. And Cobra Cult's amazing. You should consider joining. Pledge your loyalty to Cobra on my videos. I'll teach you how to gain natural power. How to be in touch with your natural ability. It's like 10.08. 10 um, I'll be back. I'm going to go see if friends here. I'm going to go for a smoke real quick since I've got some. Yeah, I'll go. All right. right. Lee Cobra here to give you the time for <laughs> tonight. All right, right. Yeah, I'm on the fuck ain't you. staying the night, though. Let's get that. Oh, I, I, oh, I got I've already got a place to go. You, you both got a place to go. I'm aware oh, yeah. of that. Yes, yeah, so I'm just making that clear. Yeah, I got, I got my own apartment. We're good. Oh, for the record. Yeah, I already knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got, oh. a, I got a fucking place in the north. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Goldfinger, King Cobra, and fucking Alex. Yeah, you know what, dude? Oh, if you need your bag... Dude, come back over and grab it. Oh, I got everything, bud. What about that bag right there? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna say, I don't think you got everything. That one got moved. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. Thanks for looking out, man. Yeah, you're good, dude. I mean, I'll hang out with him, you know, for a little bit, and, you know. I'm not a very social person. I have a small circle of friends I hang with, but that's it. But we are live on the King Cobra JFS channel. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna put the phone on airplane mode and just block and delete the hate messages off camera. All right. What's up, YouTube? Let's try this again. Last night when I tried making this video response, the stream froze up on me, man. I go, I got my tactical soap a day early, and they included like five to six extra bars, so I appreciate that. Uh, why don't you try telling people that they'll get 83% off and three extra? I'm not drinking anything right now. 
taking a couple of days off if I feel like it, at least a day. When we are thrown into lockdown time and time again. Yeah, so basically, King Cobra fam, lockdown has not been easy on everyone. Seems like my business is ran from home anyways. I'm used to working and being at home most of the time. Side note, I'm extremely grateful that Cobra Craft Handmade Wands has not been affected by the pandemic. I'll be making some more wands here soon. Living is just a slow way to commit suicide, man. Fuck suicide, by the way. It's not worth it. I feel like when you get to the other side, they're like, this is what you're going to miss out on because you offed yourself. Ah, uh, guess what? You were, if you would have just held on for a little bit longer, you would have won the lottery. Oh, and it would have been sweet. You would have had a, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it is. And on top of that, you get to watch how your shit affects everyone else's shit. Uh, worst memory from childhood. That would be uh, fourth grade. The first girl I crushed on when I was in fourth grade rejected me because she was a grade higher. And uh, she didn't let me down gently. She just flat out called me a loser and made fun of me along with pretty much every kid in my class. Yeah, it's pretty sad when your dad has to walk into your classroom and be like, okay, so my son has autism and y'all are being jack offs. He, he didn't say it, you know, like that. Like, went in there and and right when I started to get along with all my classmates I move from South Lake Tahoe California to Valley City North Dakota now all the assholes who made fun of me in elementary and high school all the chicks who rejected me growing up no it's funny how that works out isn't it the kid who gets bullied ends up becoming a famous youtuber Huh. Before I open the floor to all of you, this is just a reminder that you can download Surfshark VPN using the link in the description. When you do, you'll receive three extra months free. And also, if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe to a lot. Yeah, a thunderstorm. Holy shit. That made me jump out of my skin. Hold up. Oh, uh, yes. We have a thunderstorm in progress. My bad. And the kicker of it is, okay, the government loves money. And if Colorado makes a billion dollars a year off of cannabis, and there are 50 states in this beautiful, good old U.S. of A. country of ours, then that's $50 billion. $50 billion. It's simple math. What's up, fellow YouTubers? Just doing some laundry. We got ourselves a juice. This is the only one I have of anything of this nature, period. So let's just do it. For that matter, I'm fucking sick and tired of our society overly sexualizing kids. This shit grosses me out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and kids are not allowed to have an imagination anymore without being judged or perceived. So give this video a like if you hate pedophiles and sickos. And subscribe for more, because Cobra is not afraid to tell it like it is. You know, I played the lottery earlier, and uh, I didn't win the Powerball, but I won like 3 to $4 playing the Lucky for Life. So there you go. It's after 5 o'clock. I haven't had alcohol all day, or for, or for the last couple of days. I've had money to drink for the last couple of days, but I'm like, eh. I want to wait on that just for a couple of days. People see me drink on YouTube and the first assumption is like, oh my God, Cobra is this and that. It takes a break from alcohol. And, oh my God, Cobra, are you out of money? It's like, no, there's times when I'm out of money and I can't drink. And there's times when I have money and I can drink. And then there's just times where I'm like, I don't feel like drinking. I personally feel like I don't need alcohol all the fucking time. I really don't. Anyone who dislikes this video is a pedophile, and I encourage them to get help. So Courtney knew it, sent me a picture of a vulture that her friend took a picture of, and I thought of a funny t-shirt. Clout chasers be like, 
Because clot chasers are like vultures, man. Holy shit. Then I also made a badass drinking glass. It says potion time right across the uh, pentagram. That looks pretty sick. And yes, I do have a beverage of sorts. Rocking that cool shirt. Fuck right. King Cobra sipping on a twisted peach. Now I lost uh, my pipe tool, but I lost it at a friend's house. It's no big deal. I did get a little upset by it at first, but then I quickly calmed down and got over it. Shit happens, man. I got lost underneath their porch when I dropped it in between the the boards. It happens. Like I'm not worried about it, honestly. I'm not turning 31 until March 26th of 2021, so what, what the fuck are you on about? I got a little bit of alcohol in the fridge, but I'm just going to drink one or two, and I'm good after that, man. Thank you, uh, Blue Dozen Design, Eric, Eric, Isa, and Darnell, and Talgan Trip. Yes, appreciate that. No, if I had a daughter, would I let her play with Barbie? Barbie? Hell no. Hell to the fuck no. Barbie teaches women to hate their bodies and be materialistic. 80, 80 to 95 percent of women who grow up playing with Barbie dolls, they grow up to hate their body, and they also become super vain or super materialistic. It's the truth. Josh, did you see that guy wear your anti-rape shirt to Chris Chan's house? He's trying to spread the word. Sick. Uh, the oldest I could be with would be like 34, 35, 36. You know what I'm saying? That's of course it was like... Courtney or some shit, because, you know, for a 40-year-plus-year-old chick, Courtney looked good for her age. Check the PayPal, huh? <laughs> God, still at $34.13. You appreciate that? I'll do what I please with that money, to be honest. I made some dank-ass mac and cheese, so I'm good on ordering food. YouTube fam, we got ourselves a pizza. This is a create your own stuffed crust pizza with bacon as the additional topping. Extra toppings outside of that bacon. We have bacon, jalapenos, onions, mozzarella cheese. I'm taking our garlic butter and we're gonna put it on top of our pizza. No, we also got two cups of garlic jalapeno cheese sauce. But uh, we're going to hold on to that for a second. We're going to reheat the pizza in the oven. Two cups of creamy jalapeno cheddar cheese sauce. Oh, yes. Taking that second cup of cheesy jalapeno sauce. Bum bum. This pizza is just about complete. Bake at 420 degrees for a couple of minutes. 420 and a couple of degrees. 
YouTube. Cheers. Well, we're about to do a taste test on a bacon cheddar jalapeno pizza. After tearing the back off. Look what, what we're left with. This little Caesars bacon cheddar jalapeno monstrosity. Oh, YouTube. You may be saying to yourself, Cobra, too dank. Excuse the housewives. Left the window open for some summertime breeze. But anyways, tubes, catch you later. You don't have any uh, beer or soda pop, but that's all right. American Airlines impersonator unmasked. Guest starring Sidney Watson and John Doyle on Slightly Offensive. Yes, I'm sick of the bullshit, too. It's one of the reasons why I enjoy a good stiff drink every now and then. Not only that, but when it comes to our health, to our children's health, 50% of Americans have a, um, you know, that even have insurance. Have I'm grateful that I am covered through basic insurance because of my Asperger's. You have no idea how grateful I am for that. And a lot of people can't afford that, to be honest. Unless you're a celebrity or a politician or you have a disability like Asperger's or ADHD or some sort of shit that makes you qualified to get benefits, then you're pretty much fucked. I'm currently free balling right now because I'm a grown ass man. Warlord Campbell might come over and hang out for a bit. People threatening to shoot me with a paintball gun as soon as I step outside the smoke. That's fucking hilarious. This happened to me one time. When I was back at the, uh, I went to this bar. I was hanging out at the bar with some friends. And two chicks started making out and dancing a couple tables in front of me. Long story short, these two were dancing and making out in front of a room full of very obnoxious and very drunk dudes. And I'm trying not to stare, but, yeah, you know, Cobra, I can't help myself. I see two hot bar chicks making out in front of me. I'm just, pff, come on. I was hanging out with Darth Laney and his baby mama slash girlfriend, and it's just like, literally, this chick with short black hair walked up to my friend Darth Laney and says, could you tell your friend to please quit staring? Thanks. And I was just at that point where you have that enough alcohol in your system where the truth comes out and you don't give a fuck who it pisses off. I said, first of all, honey, if you don't want people staring, go home and do that shit. Second of all, I haven't had pussy in three years. Third of all, you're in a room full of drunk dudes clearly getting attention. But when the attention is from the wrong person, you want to act like you're all creeped out and pissed off by it. Fourth of all, if there were two dudes making out and you haven't had dick in like three years, you'd be staring too. Fifth of all, fuck you. If you got a problem with me staring, then say it to my face. Don't do this immature bullshit of, I want to go to your friend and tell him to tell you to say it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she got pissed when I told it like it was. Fucking stomped out of the freaking CY bar. Like, I think wearing a mask should be a personal choice. I've never been vaccinated, and I refuse to wear a mask unless it was required. Like, okay, we're not going to let you shop at Walmart until you put one of our shitty disposable masks on. But I'm just sitting there saying, like, okay, fine. And strangely enough, I haven't gotten sick. A lot of you are going to think I'm a dickhead for not getting vaccinated, but I refuse to get vaccinated unless I'm required to have it for travel. I have a really strong immune system. I've never gotten sick with this whole coronavirus bullshit. I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not trying to sound like one of those anti-vaxxer assholes, but I examine all sides of the argument before I make a based conclusion.
That's called being a free thinker. Hold on a second. What up, bro? You know how many beers are you? Yeah, that's right. Man, I get paid this weekend, so I'm sure you can. Cool, man. What's up? Oh, hell yeah. This is some pretty stones. Some of them are actual quartz, too. I think I got one more in here right now. Hell yeah. Uses for wands. Is like yeast with no. Oh, look at what we got here! Eleven dollars and sixty-eight cents. And Teespring, y'all sent me seven dollars and thirteen cents for buying that uh, potions glass. Time, sweet. The potions time glass. Nice. The new Kroger commercials where everyone's like doing the like the arm dance. Every time that comes on, I, I like I become a danger to my back. It just makes me so upset. It's almost about his old Navy commercials. And by the way, I don't watch TV, but when I'm at the gym, I see them come on. And I brought up this point in a previous episode. Is I realize like what American society is is a coin purse for foreign immigrants in the world to cash in on the taxpayers. We know who's what 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 ethnic group is actually paying majority of the taxes and not cashing out on them. We won't get into that. But I watch like this old Navy commercial and it's like. Well, my uh, bank account is currently in the negative, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this eleven dollars and sixty-eight cents. I was like negative twenty-six bucks at my bank account, so I could get alcohol, but I'm kind of like, eh, let's be a responsible adult. Right. Well, I also got work for my kid. There you go. You have twelve dollars and twenty-two cents to be paid out from Teespring. Sweet. Well, that that should do it. That'll get my account out of the negative between that Teespring payout right there, the last one I got plus the donation. Sweet. Hell yeah, I got three dollars and fifty-eight cents. That's what's up. It's your boy King Cobra back at it with another video. I want to showcase the bitch and shit that I got in my care packages. For starters, they hooked your boy up with a brand new fly swatter. This is the Fly Undertaker fly swatter with the 28 inch extension. I also got a bug assault gun for shooting flies. This thing's just fucking awesome. You put the salt in here, you got your safety right here. Pump it, you know what I'm saying? Earlier, I was taking the flies out with my new bug swatter, and this thing's pretty sweet. It's not too heavy, but it's not too lightweight, so it's got a good weight to it. And this is great for that close range, taking out the flies. The fans also sent some snackable bugs. I appreciate that. They also sent me two brand new hats. They sent me this hat. And they also sent me a... Uh, Malt liquor King Cobra hat from Etsy. Appreciate that. And put the uh, before I do that. So I also got thank you, uh, Deathbed Tapes. Who sent me four copies of you guessed it, Rebel Revolution, my newest album, baby. That's what's up. I got two more copies in here. Now, yeah, I want to take off the old pie high hat, and we're gonna switch it up. For the remainder of the video, we're going to be wearing this. This was made on Etsy. Now, uh, King Cobra Malt Liquor is actually my favorite beer. I'm not just saying that because it's my favorite snake. It was generally good. These trucker hats are incredibly hard for my big head to fit. So on the last two dots, there you go. King Cobra wearing a baseball cap. Look at that. Sharp. And we got uh, Camo Silver Ice 24. And some Arizona mango tea. Want to mix those two together? Yes. For about five bucks, I got a brand new Bic lighter, a beer, an Arizona tea, and that pretty much, you know what I'm saying? And before I get this video started, I want to give a shout out to one of my fans who's having surgery on Friday. A shout out to our Herman Goring. Goring. G O R I N G. 
Good luck with your surgery. Serious, man. Circle of protection on that. Yeah, man. Now I got my PayPal sort of out of the negative. I only owe like five bucks before it's out of the negative. So there you go. And you don't have to donate to the PayPal, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. So I do dig it when the fans send cool shit like this, man. This thing's kind of addicting. I'm not going to lie. I was half tempted to just open my window and let the flies fly in so I can be like, oh, it's on like Donkey Kong. And you know, like you can say like the cheesiest of shit when you're about to attack the bug. Like, you're about to get assaulted. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You know, like when you pump it, the little sight right here pops out. Okay. There's your safety right here. Green, you're ready to be a fly killing machine. Stupidity that exists. People going off about how Kamala Harris is the first black woman to be vice president. I'm like, she didn't, what? She's the first Indian woman to be vice president. She ain't no Shaniqua Harris. All right, so those last two, I do have dyslexia, but I don't have a drinking problem. I have problems, so I drink. Yes! Terrace Pop gets it, man! I don't have a drinking problem. I have problems, therefore I drink. Even if the lights were off for three to seven minutes. I dated a single mom, and uh, I tell you, I, I, at one point, I did date a single mom because she was cute. She was gothic. She listened to Cradle of Filth. We were good friends. We knew each other for a, a good hot minute. And the kid she had started calling me daddy. Shit you not. It was the sweetest fucking thing, right? What broke it off was she would literally flirt with other guys right in front of me. Like I wasn't even there. I'm like, excuse me, I thought we were in a relationship. Then about two weeks after that shit happened, I broke up with her. I'm like, okay, your kid's calling me daddy, and uh, I have the potential to be a great father, but you don't want to fucking date my ass, you, whatever the fuck. You're sitting here flirting with other dudes right in front of me. Screw that shit. I broke up with her. And then about two weeks after I broke up with her, she lost her kid. And I'm sitting there going, you idiots, if you would have made it last two more fucking weeks, you could have fucking raked that shit in for all the fucking pussy in the world, dude. Like, oh, baby, it's okay. I know they took your kid away. It's unfair. Oh, it's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Josh has got you. Don't worry. <laughs> Never date a chick who's going to openly flirt with other dudes right in front of you. That's just like, why? And I settled because she was goth and had similar tastes. I was like, nope, never again. I'm still friends with that woman, mind you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk to her in a hot minute, but you know what I'm saying? Back when I was dating that single mom and uh, we were at Walmart, just shopping, whatever, she's getting her nails done, and the kid she's with starts bawling her eyes out, dude. I mean, just wham, the full nine yards. And everyone's just staring at me like, what's he going to do about it? So I picked her up out of the stroller, the cart, held her on my shoulder, and I patted her like a good father figure would. I'm like, shh, it's okay. Shh. My parental instincts kicked in. I was just like, shh, it's okay. And then I showed her. To her mom, I was like, see, look, mom's getting your nails done. It's all right. And she instantly calmed down. And every, every chick in that nail salon was just like, oh, he's such a good father. And I'm like, I'm not even the kid's dad. Because if I, if I literally, sincerely, if I spent my hard-earned money, I went to the club and saw a really hot chick and bought her and her friends a big-ass bottle of champagne... And they were just like, oh, my God, who bought it? And then, then they look at me, and they're just like, oh, that's the dude who bought it? Oh, my God, ew. Creepy, bald, autistic, goth guy. Ugh. And they fucking sit there and bitch because no guy will buy them a drink. I'm like, I'm over here like, okay, where's the bathroom door? 
It's in the door frame of the bathroom. Commence the slamming. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to our Herman Goring. Good luck with your surgery on Friday, bro. Lie number four. And it's not quite a lie. Four. But it also kind of is. It's not the fact that you're stupid. It's just that people, both women and men, put on this persaud. Okay? Women and men will put on a persaud for the dating scene. Now, it also makes people desperate for companionship because they don't want to be alone. All they're used to is assholes, so they settle for them. And then bitch because they can't find anyone decent. And I'm over here like, ah, where's the bathroom door? My friend, my car is going to get repossessed. I can't afford diapers. Yes. Being a single parent sucks ass. You know the whole you're having trouble with money, i.e. you can't afford rent, your car's been repoed, and you can't afford diapers? Well, get a fucking job! You get to waste your life away paying for all of the bills, and yet you still come in last. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I swallowed the fucking water down the wrong tube of my throat. Ah! Fuck, I hate that shit. And you're sitting there going, oh, wow. And believe me, I've experienced this to some degree. I've had chicks that I, I used to have a crush on in high school going, oh, my God, that's Josh Saunders. I wish I wouldn't have rejected him in high school. And the only fucking reason chicks from back in the day are saying that crap is because I'm a YouTube celebrity who actually respects women. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Everyone. Yeah, not good enough. Yeah, they've realized most, uh, that, you know what, that kind of makes my thinking me, you know what I'm saying, turn a little bit. I gotta piss again. God damn it. Let's take something perfectly natural, dating and companionship and courtship, and complicate the fuck out of it. I mean, really, it's just, oh my god, you two, I'm over it. Okay, that one stuck up on me. God fucking knows. Yeah. Well, Cobra's got a talk machine, you might as well take one, right? Okay. And then it pulls a fucking sneaky yo-yo, and it's like, well, all you have to do is pee. <laughs> Who's not done digesting yet? I know. Let's take the dating scene. Something that should be perfectly natural for young adults to old adults in general. And to be like, let's make it more complicated than it needs to be. It's like, why is Cobra over there in the bathroom fucking slamming his nuts in the car frame for a third time? And it's like, because that makes more goddamn sense than the crap they're doing right now. The 30 years that I've existed on this planet, I've listened to women bitch, and psychologically I've studied them from a distance without being creepy about it, and it's like, okay, hey, look. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. I clicked on the wrong. God damn it, fucking son of a bitch. Wait. Okay. This is there the we go. We're good. We are Gucci. YouTube is playing it right back off where I left it off. I accidentally clicked on a different video. We're good. National anthem for the whoop. And it's like, well, if it disappoints the kid, who fucking cares? It's the tough lesson of life. Life sucks. Get used to it. Like, you're, you're disappointed now. Wait till you're a goddamn adult and you go to buy something from the store and your car gets declined because you're a broke piece of shit. Disappointment's part of life. Rejection is a part of life. Get used to it. 
Like, oh yeah, you want a dude who's six feet tall, makes a six salary figure, has a six pack abs, and a six inch dick when he gets hard, and it's super muscly, and he's six feet tall. Like, Ur! you know what I'm saying? Well, your boy Cobra's got the muscles. I don't, I don't have a six salary income, but I'm six feet tall practically, five, nine, six feet. I got the muscles. A rager has been known to give me eight inches, but beside the point. So I got everything but the six salary figure, which, eh. YouTube, I want to give some shout outs. Uh, first of all, I do apologize for last night's stream. I had a troll send me a message, and uh, I fell for it hook, line, and sinker. They're like, can you give a shout out to my brother, blah, 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 blah. And then come to find out that the name they gave me was actually the name of a really famous Nazi. Dude, fuck that. Okay, seriously, it's pathetic. I do appreciate y'all donating to the, uh, to the PayPal. Uh, I'm going to take a shower and then I'm going to walk down to the uh, liquor store and I want to get some... Uh, Get some liquor, some beer, do a new drink combo, and then fucking, yeah. And that's kind of my bad, because I should have Googled the name before giving a shout-out. That's what's up. Also, I want to give a shout-out to Alyssa or Alicia. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but thank you for the dope-ass wizard hat. For the remainder of the stream... For my fangirl Alicia or Alyssa, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Put this badass hat on. You're a warlock, Josh. I'm a what? A warlock. And a powerful one at that. Pronouns. Demon, goth, hippie, warlock, vampire. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, in some cases, the baby mama's baby daddy was a piece of shit ex, blah, blah, blah. But in some cases, that's not even true. She just uses that excuse to get your well, sympathy. There's nothing wrong with having apathy and sympathy for people. But when people take advantage of your apathy and your sympathy and your kindness, fuck the trolls, fuck white supremacists. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah. You saw my apology video I made earlier. My noon video. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Michael Diotto, Dustin Diaz. Thank you for donating to my PayPal. I appreciate it. Drinking some Bud Light Lime, some Mountain Dew, Lime Cobras, baby. I love to drink, but I'm trying to monitorize it so I don't turn into an alcoholic, to be honest. So. I'm going to have a, one more beer after this, and then that's it for the evening. Just because it's nice to uh, conserve your alcohol. So when you want some on Friday, yes. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for not injecting me with things because I used to exclusively wear my brother's clothing. Yes. No shit. Now, I'm going to share a little bit about my childhood. Yeah, when I was a kid, my favorite color was pink. Shit you not. And my parents didn't care. They're like, hey, yeah, that's just his favorite color. You know, who cares? And they weren't trying to force this crap down my throat. They were just like, let him be a kid. And I grew out of that phase, obviously, but you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, dude. The only reason parents want their kids to be... Now, when I was a kid and my parents would take me to McDonald's, I'd get a Happy Meal. And then, and then when I was a kid, I would go play in the ball pit. And kids will do shit like this. They'll take a couple of the plastic balls from the ball pit and stuff it on the inside of their shirt to make it look like they have boobies. And they'll sit there and giggle like immature children. That's just, that's, that's typical crap. Okay. And in doing that, my parents weren't going, oh my God, is our son? No, dude, it wasn't even like that. You know what I'm saying? They're like, ah, Josh is just being a kid. You know what I'm saying? They were not the kind of parents to just read too much into it. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, you know, teenagers are capable of making decisions, but sometimes they're not the smartest ones. I should know. I was a teenager once. I, I hear that, Sydney. Like, in the time I got really tipsy, 
before going to a teen singer dance back in the day, Valley City, North Dakota. That's what's up. And uh, I did too. And that night when I went to the community center dance, all tipsy as fuck. Dude, I had the hottest females in my class grinding up on me, dancing with me and shit. Then I got into a fight with some other dude, fucking kicked his ass, and then the cop was talking to me, and I got out of a ticket. It was a fucking awesome night. It was a fucking awesome night, dude. Fucking, I got home, and I snuck some more of that Bacardi <laughs> and mixed it with some juice, and then I went down to my room and then had another drink and passed out. I was like, yeah! Of course, I got caught that year, that Christmas that year, and I was like, hey, you guys got Bacardi. You guys can make Tom and Jerry's. And my dad's like, hey, that sounds good. And then as soon as he opened the liquor cabinet, he was like, Josh. And I'm like, ah, I should have kept my mouth shut. Going back to what I said earlier about how pink was my favorite color as a kid, yeah, I watched Power Rangers growing up, and I grew out of the, the pink phase, but the pink Power Ranger was my favorite. Even at a young age, I expressed interest in girls. It's because I'm straight. They're of age women. Side note, when my uh, dad and biological mother got divorced, my dad had to fight like hell to get custody over me. He did. And he had to prove without a doubt that, oh, yeah, your, your biological mother is psychotic and she's not mentally fit to raise children. And it took him for ever to get custody over me, dude. Yeah, it's going to be like the last beer I have for the night. I'm definitely feeling it. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Like, yes, I did paint my nails when I was a kid. I can remember me and my biological mother, Laura, just hanging out. And, you know, she'd paint my nails. And I didn't care because I was a kid. And no one made a big deal about it because it was the 90s. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? Dude, I had an interest in girls from a very, very young age. And uh, some of the anime shows I watched as a kid definitely reinforced that. Tenchi Muyu, Sailor Moon. Yeah, Toonami, The Midnight Run. Where are my 90s babies at? Whoop, whoop. Watching Teen Titans as a kid. Oh, yeah, Raven and Starfire. Oh, my God. My sister Tiana watched Kim Possible growing up, and she go, yeah, dude. Black and green, fuck yeah. When I was a kid, I watched Freakazoid, and Cobra Queen was literally my favorite villain of all time on that show. Like, I ain't going down there. It smell like poo gas. Stop trying to get us banned. Needless to say, and I have definitely said this a million times, I personally do not care what you do as an adult behind closed doors, provided that I don't have to pay for it and it doesn't affect me. But I see... Yeah, exactly. I don't give a shit. If you're an adult, what you do behind closed doors is none of my business, provided that my tax dollars aren't paying for it and children are safe. Outside of that, if it's consensual and everyone's of age and you're just doing your thing, cool, man. Millions of people living as foes. I gotta wonder, Sydney, does Murphy do the whole ooh? <coughs> <coughs> Shit. I'm not going to lie, I miss Obi and Chance. They were good dogs. Obi's death was pretty hard on my entire family, to be honest. I ordered a, a potion time glass, and I'm um, waiting to see when it'll get here from the old Teespring. So now that you're aware of the upsides and the downsides of your behavior, let's talk about what you can do. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step to actually stop being the nice guy. When you are taking excellent care of yourself, loving yourself, recognizing that you're worth more than that. Spend time. Yes. When it comes to dating YouTube, know your self-worth. I have a lot of attractive qualities that women desire on the dating scene. Facial hair, a wicked sense of humor. Big-ass muscles. 
I play guitar and I sing. All of me loves all of you. Oh yeah, when I sing that John Legend song, it is pitch perfect. The kind of crap that chicks like to listen to. John Legend, Bruno Mars, James Blunt, etc., etc. The kind of or like Adele, which is really hard. But there you go. Eh. To be fair, if guys are trying way too hard to get a chick, it's super obvious. So if you cool it back and act like you don't give a shit if she notices you or not, it's reverse psychology, dude, and it works almost every time. Now, like I said, if you want to attract women, dude, you got to get yourself some of that tactical soap. Now, tactical soap... <laughs> Is designed to get women in the mood if you catch my drift. It's designed to give you a boost of confidence on your skin. In fact, I plugged the link in one of Caitlin V's videos, but it got deleted because she probably thought it was spam or a bot account or some shit like that. And I'm just like, no, it's the real deal. Whatever. Core values as a person and as a coach that works one on one with people are pleasure, depth, Science and magic. Magic, you say? Magic. Magic. Magic, you say? Magic, you say? Yes. Yes, y'all. I am married. Oh, you're married. Good job. Nobody cares. Happy for you, though. Uh, you know, weddings are just funerals with cakes, man. And if you hate being rejected on the dating scene, just remember, you're going to die alone anyways. It doesn't matter if you have somebody or not. Not awesome. We're, like, neutral, right? It's just like that rocket science. Like, be awesome and she'll think about you because she'll think about how awesome. And it didn't mean he didn't hang out with his friends. I didn't. He had good boundaries, too. He was like, well, I'm going to still hang out with that person. And I said, that's cool. I'm not going to. Good. There's no hard feelings. Number six. Always leave them wanting more. Do not stay until the bitter end, whether that's on a date or at a party. Do not. All right, number two, having nice forearms. My dudes, do not be afraid to roll up those. Nice forearms. Yeah, we got that covered too, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Definitely got that covered. <clears throat> Take that, you fucking fly. Yes. Number eight, talent and intelligence. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't require a whole lot. Like, are you... Competent. Can you fix a computer, light a campfire, real estate? Can I, can I, can I, I cannot fix a computer, but can I build a campfire? Yes. Can I cook a steak? Oh, fuck yeah. I can cook a mean steak, dude. Have you spent time honing skills that make you proud? Trust me. Yes, I have. My guitar playing would be one of those. When you have a talent and know-how and intelligence, even if it's not something that you think is particularly Intelligence, I guess, isn't that important. It just depends on who you talk to, but it just creates a stimulating conversation. You're not sitting there bored out of your skull like, who is this two-dimensional person? I'm so proud of you. I love you. That kind of thing. And stop right there. That's it. Crying because your daughter gave you a beautiful birthday card? No. No. Stop that shit. Man up. It's okay to cry during like really sad things, but to cry because of something like that. Not trying to sound sexist, but quit acting like a goddamn chick with that shit. But crying because your daughter gave you a beautiful card and it just, it moved you. Okay, that's your personal choice. For me personally, yeah, I wouldn't. I'm like, thanks for the... The, cup, the, the birthday card you gave Daddy Cupcake, I appreciate it. That lets me know that you have a heart. and Yeah, just because you don't cry a little tear when your daughter g gives you a birthday card doesn't mean you don't have heart. Like, men, I'm sorry, but 
we have a weird way of showing our emotions. It's because we're not allowed to show our emotions, God damn it. Growing up as a kid, I got told that I'm such a handsome young man, blah, 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 blah. Even though I get rejected by every chick I crush on, I still try to talk to women that are of age. It's just the mindset of you don't care if you get rejected. That's just part of the dating scene. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been rejected by every chick I've crushed on since the fourth grade, and it sucks balls, but what do you do? That's life. A good majority of the chicks who rejected me feel kind of bad now because they're like, well, one, he's autistic, and two, he's a YouTube celebrity. Figure out what makes you the sexiest version of you and work on and use that. Any weakness, any weaknesses that you have, work on it. For example, I had a nasty temper and uh, it got to the point where it's like, I didn't like having a temper, dude. And do I get mad? Yeah, I still get mad, but I de-escalate a lot quicker. For handy. Okay, so you can't grow a beard. Okay. Like, I'll, I'll acknowledge it. I hated my temper. I'd always feel like shit after I lost it. And it's just like, at some point, you got to acknowledge that, hey, this ain't good. After this video, I'm taking a break from making YouTube videos because I just... Our society sucks so hard, dude. Shout out to Biz Cuts Media. Thank you for the five dollars. Satanic incest LGBTQ story hour for kids? Question mark. Guest John Doyle, episode one seventy nine. I was slightly offensive. I commented on the video, dude. Fuck this shit. I'm done. A real Satanist wouldn't do this crap. I guess Elijah Schaefer deleted it because it contained too many F-bombs. And yet your channel is called Slightly Offensive. Hmm. I don't need alcohol to enjoy myself, as I've already had a little bit earlier. And even if I didn't, I don't need it. It's a want. Um, like, here's some images of him um, that is literally saying, Hail Satan. I see. So I'm not just being some sort of a conspiratorial person. And I know that... If you know about Anton LaVey and uh, modern Satanism, which I hope none of you guys are Satanists, but if you are, you know, though it looks dark in its uh, pictorial image. Yeah, I'm a Satanist and we don't do crap. No, this this guy, no. This is the kind of crap that's going to ruin Satanism. Nothing. Uh, it nope. makes me want to go crawl into a hole and never come out ever again. Yes. It makes me kind of want to give up on our. It makes me want to pour, what's that stuff? Hydrochloroform. You know the stuff in the brown bottle that tastes like crap that you used to clean out your mouth? The, seeing that makes me want to pour that shit into my eyes. You know the stuff in the brown bottle? The little brown bottle with the white with the white uh, cap? Uh, I, I don't think it's called hydrochloroform. I forget what it's called, but you know the stuff I'm talking about. $9.41. Yeah, buddy. I want to transfer that to my bank account. On account of my bank account, it's like a dollar some odd cents in the negative. This will help my bank account get out of the negative, so I appreciate that. Sweet. Sweet, man. Now my PayPal and my bank account are both out of the negative. Now, I got a mask. I got a pandemic mask, yes. I got one with like a skull face on it. It's pretty sweet. And uh, should I wear it more often? Yeah, but do I? No. Like, I just washed my COVID masks recently, so check out this uh, sick wand going up on Etsy. It's almost done drying. But check that out. Yes. Yeah. That's why I hate wearing the mask. It bombs up my glasses, man. Now, these things are loads of fun to, like, shoot flies with. Take your uh, table salt. Just like that. Dump it in there. Close it up. 
and then yeah give it a when you see a flying you know what i'm saying that's kind of what the expected reaction would be throughout history. It's not that we're bad people. It's like this is just what history suggests. The only thing that I think is different with our particular circumstance is that we have been so biologically wired to basically be agreeable and weak uh, through the way that they alter our hormones uh, with, with food or water, even like the things that they choose to get us addicted to, whether that's pornography or marijuana, alcohol. It doesn't matter. So like we are. Okay, don't. No, 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 no. The addition to marijuana is psychological. That's bullshit. Alcohol is way more addicting than marijuana, and I can testify to that. Hyper-consumerist culture where we're just distracted by all these bright lights and flashes and, and media things. It's totally pathetic. No, it really is. And that's why I said that it's a satanic world. We are living in a satanic pedophile world. And the no, 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 no. You're not going to tie Satanism to the P word. Fuck you. They're separate. Fuck you. First John 1 8, so then we have fellowship with one another. It's because of the blood of his son Jesus Christ that cleanses us from all fuck your Jesus Christ that stands up and that we eventually will be killed for standing up for the truth. Yeah, I've noticed that too. No, I don't know about that. That seems a bit extreme. Of course, what would you expect from the radical rights, man? They use fear mongering tactics to scare you, they will use the fear. Of what the public is going through, they use fear tactics to scare you into believing shit. We're gonna party and do certain things, but everyone's kind of considering. And I'll say it again: satanic church, satanic eleven rules of the earth. Rule number nine. Look it up. No, you know what? Fuck this. I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> satanic eleven rules of the earth. According to churchofsatan.com, by Anton Zander Levy, do not give opinions or advice unless you are asked. Do not tell your troubles to others unless you are sure they want to hear them. I'm going to post this in chat. The Church of Satan is decent shit, man. You tuned in, didn't you? So yeah, you're asking. Educate yourselves, assholes. Rule number nine, do not harm little children. Look at that. Right there, I see rule number nine. The power of the mind is a beautiful thing. You like, it's the truth. The power of the mind, YouTube, is a beautiful thing. It's got these fucking right wing lunatics convinced that there is this almighty sky god that watches over everything you do. And isn't it weird how like God is depicted as a man in the Bible? That's kind of sexist, don't you think? For all we know, God could be both sexes. Yeah, gods are hermaphrodite. How do you like them apples? For standing up for the truth, I want to- no, I can't listen to this crap. Bible-thumping bullshit. It's like, hey, buddy, how many fucking sick assholes in the Christian world have done sick shit to children in the name of Jesus? A lot. Catholics included. And I hate to be like that, but it's the fucking truth. So don't fucking sit here and try to preach like, oh, yeah, uh, I'm better than you because I read the Bible. Man, fuck you. I'm unsubscribing. They need to, they need and you couldn't just let Sydney Watson believe what she wanted to believe. You had to shove your idea down her throat and make her agnostic. Joe Biden, our president, brought our troops home from Iraq and handed over Afghanistan and Iraq and that general area towards and to the uh, Talibanians. And the Talibanians hate ISIS. Now, the Talibanians are the ones that caused 9-11. And those assholes hate ISIS. And the way I see it, we've been in Afghanistan and Iraq for 20 fucking years, dude. So, I think the way Joe Biden sees it, he's like, let the uh, Talibanians and the ISIS assholes find it out. And uh, if anyone fucked with our country after the fact, they'll get a boot up their ass. I'll go there for another 20 years and fuck shit up. I feel so bad for the Afghanistan women and children. You know, and you hear people talk about how much it sucks to live in this country. Go live in a third world country where there is poverty and war, you fucking asshole, and quit bitching about it. At this point, I'm not sure what's going to happen. We live in uncertain times. We're in the middle of a pandemic. And, uh... People, people are getting fed misinformation. It's just crazy times, man. I saw a video that Terrence popped 
and Blake did on Ryder Roast about this one lady who uh, wanted to do things with a horse. And I was just like, I take a break from YouTube for like maybe a day and shit just gets... <laughs> now the Talibanians caused 9-11 and they hate ISIS. I do not particularly care for them either. I despise ISIS, to be honest. My dark magic took them out the first time during Trump's administration, so I will use my magic in any way, that shape, or form that I can to protect those who deserve to be protected. We gotta use our magic to protect the innocents in, this, in these trying times, YouTube. What up, YouTube? We're live. Yeah, this is my new patriotic t-shirt. It's, uh, it's pretty freaking sweet. You familiar with uh, Terrence Pop? I do not believe so. But, yes. Terrence Pop here with Donculus.com. Okay, now I remember him. Now, I got family who owns a ranch, and you don't see me trying to act cowboy. Like, if I've never, if I've never worked a day of, of my life, if I've never worked a day of my life on a ranch, then I can't call myself a cowboy. That uh, goes out to all the wannabes in town that think just because they wear a goddamn hat and get their truck muddy on the weekends, they can call themselves a cowboy. You're fucking hilarious. Peace, love, and goth hippie, civil rights activist, metalhead, goth cowboy. See, I'm the kind of guy, my grandma says, Oh, that's uh, that's Max. He's the meanest horse in the barn. And I walk up to him, and Max is just sniffing me, checking me out. And then the horse just starts letting me pet him like we're best buds. I'm the kind of dude that makes friends with the meanest horse in the barn. I'll tell you what. You are looking for a date on Craigslist? You, the look on Blake's face, like you're looking for a date on Craigslist? Yeah, that's no. You can find some really interesting people on Craigslist. <laughs> so I want to lay a hypothetical on you. What would you do if you were straight and somebody took a bunch of your photos that were leaked on the internet and your phone number somehow and used it to create a fake craigslist dating ad and what if all of a sudden you started getting random text messages from unwanted and i do mean this unwanted gay strangers <laughs> Oh, man, this drink combo is good. I'm going to make me another one, dude. God damn. I thought about making another one, but I grabbed my brewski. Yeah, I didn't know if I could. Not if I got any left. Yeah, I don't mind sharing. I know you're old enough. There you go. So there are, there are some positive things oh, going through. Oh, my bad. I know. He's on a roll. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you piece of sh dog shit, motherfucker. I mean, why can't you just go find a really huge hung dude and fantasize about your little horse thing with a dude? Thank you! I mean, they're easy to find. I mean, you're in Arizona for crying out fucking loud. No fucking shit. You can toss a dime and find 12 inches. Like I said, as long as they're of age, they're hot, and they're clean, and we got great chemistry, and they're born female, and they identify as female, shoot. I, I, I like how my standards just clearly are much, much lower <laughs> than yours. <laughs> oh, some salt for your tequila shots. <laughs> I had tequila the other day. 
I went on a date and I had three mixed drinks. Nice. I had the tequila after we mingled and cuddled. Oh, there uh, you go. Yeah, so that helped me relax even more. And uh, I was kind of, it was kind, I was kind of uh, a little worried. Yeah. He was gentle. And he did rent the new Mortal Kombat and the new Groots just for the day. Next payday comes to the leash and the tag. Do you want some tactical soap? Link in the description mm -hmm. box below. Coupon code King Cobra. You know the drill. <laughs> I shower with oh, dude, I love if bond my check number one. Had not been so short this week, and I didn't have to pay child support. I would have bought me some. What's your favorite set from Tactical Soap? Maverick. Oh, we had a customer come in the other day, and I was just like, and he came in with his wife, and I'm just like, fuck. You can smell it, huh? He was wearing Maverick. Maverick number one? Maverick number one. And he came up to the counter, he put the dog food in the bag, and I was just like, I love the smell of Maverick. And he goes, yeah. It turns the wife on, she just goes, and we've had two more kids since he started buying it. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, did he see? Did he actually buy it because of my videos? No, he just straight up said he buys it. He didn't specify, but he says he buys it. He did say though he gets it on a discount. So I don't know if he's going through another affiliate of his because I do know a lot of the Navy right now, like especially the Navy pilots, are wearing it. Yeah, especially at Top Gun. Yeah, oh, by the way, didn't work out. You know what you know? What's that, Alex? My dad moved to Norfolk, Nebraska. He still has that bar at Maverick you fucking gave him for Christmas. Hell yeah, four years ago. He still has, it, still don't use it. He got his cane. Yeah, he's got his cane. Fuck yeah, that cane we made. Oh, dude, yes. Yes, he's got it, and he does use it. Um, They almost did not let him have it in the mental hospital there until I call. If you do not let him have it, I will sue you for malpractice. Still good compliments on it? Oh, yeah. I'm oh. not like, going to show it off on YouTube. Like, oh, look way, how much I learned, and then, yeah. By the way, not only am I doing YouTube, TikTok, mm -hmm. but I also... <laughs> I hook up with Dark Flame whenever I can. All puns aside. And uh, yeah, I'll give them a bag full of pop cans and beer cans of smelts. Well, uh, if you ever hook up with Dark Flame, let me know. That's not even like that, you sick fuck. No, I mean, like you talk to him. Uh huh. You fucking asshole fucking I love a scar a scarred man. I really do. Because a scarred man has seen the harshest of life. Mm -hmm. If I come across a guy and I look at his body when we're together and he ain't got no scars, we ain't having a second date. I'm out. <laughs> because That's just because of the fucking sunburn and shit. What? Like, I get sunburnt and I get a farmer's tan, and then the fucking ink fades off oh. my tattoo. Check this shit out, YouTube. Since I got out a few weeks ago, I have gotten dark everywhere but here. Everywhere but where my shirt goes to. Okay. And I have not been wearing any muscle shirts just because I didn't want my tattoos to get ruined. Fair enough. Yeah, Alex Campbell contributed to the majority of this alcohol. <coughs> oh, shit, yes, what? I did. But I only got paid for two days, mind you, but I still did. I got about $12 from Teespring, so I chipped in a little extra for some of that Bacardi and that monster. Now, mind you, I still covered my fucking child support before I bought alcohol. That's where so any of you people that say that I need to fucking contribute to my kids or support my kids... Fuck you. No worries, man. You gotta have power, bro. This yeah. I don't go to sleep until like 2 o'clock in the morning. 
That's cool, man. You ain't standing at my place before oh, I charge me. the fucking phone. Go for it. Man, it's only fucking 10.45. No big deal. By the way, YouTube, if you're curious, there's a reason there's hair ties on my wrist. There you go. I mean, I've had law enforcement members slip me fucking nicotine pouches. I've had law enforcement members give me bags of drugs just because they didn't want to deal with the paperwork. They I've weren't going to kill me or anything, but... I've had police officers bust me with cannabis, and they're just like, I don't want to do the paperwork. In Co- Russia, Cobra's a good dude. In Russia, they don't even charge it after damn they legalized it. I don't know, man. Our law enforcement is outnumbered. We are the central of the United States. You know how much crime goes through Wyoming? We're yeah, talking we about 75% of all crime in the United States goes through Wyoming. Who wants to fucking focus on the bad shit that's happening in our reality when we pay our taxes to have people deal with that shit for us? Yeah, that's kind of the truth. Just let them sort it out themselves. We have been. Not really. When you're sitting there for fucking 20 plus years in Afghanistan. The like, only reason we went back to Afghanistan was for Lord George W. Bush Sr.'s oil that he purchased. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra rocking the witch's hat back at it with another video. So, I ordered the sweetie meal from McDonald's, but I made it a large. And I added extra meat, extra cheese, and tomatoes to my Big Mac. Yo, we gotta load this Big Mac sweetie style. Hold up. YouTube. Big Mac, extra American cheese, tomatoes. Extra meats. Did they put all the extra meats? They did. They put all the all the toppings on the bottom half. Fucking McDonald's, dude. Seriously. Shout out to the fans. Thank you for donating ten dollars to my PayPal. Appreciate that. So we got a sweetie Big Mac, customized King Cobra style. Yes. Now that tangy barbecue sauce for the top of it. Let's grab a squizzle of the good stuff. Yes. Y'all put all three patties on the bottom and nothing on the top, but that's all right because it's made it easier to customize. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's going to get messy. Good thing we provided napkins. Get a bite. Yes. Little chunk of burger left, yes. That's actually pretty filling, dude, for like. 12, 13 bucks. You can't beat it.
You know, like a sauce in my beard. I ride fucking 20 miles a day on my cycle. I'm better than you. Like if they're one of those kind of cyclists that think they're better than you just because they exercise a little bit. But generally speaking, I got no problems with cyclists because I ride a bicycle myself. Although it's currently needing a new front tire tube again because it popped. I can't afford a car, to be brutally honest. So I walk or ride bike everywhere I go here in town. Now, thankfully, Casper's small enough that you can do that kind of thing. Imagine being that one guy that's just like, hey, man, you, you call up your best mate for a fucking ride. Like, hey, man, you want to go for a bike ride? Oh, sounds good, man. I can totally burn off some calories, man. Oh, yeah. And fucking the kangaroo just <clears throat> knocks you off your ass. If a kangaroo tried knocking me off my bike, I'd punch him in his balls. Straight up, I don't take, I, I respect animals, I love animals, but I don't take shit from them, dude. I don't take shit from humans either, for that matter. The kangaroos have this ability to, like, sit on their tail and, like, kick you with their hind legs. That's dumb on their half. As soon as you see a kangaroo do that crap, pick them up by their hind legs and just, <laughs> motherfucker. You heard that right, folks. Vegans are a protected group of individuals. I mean, I'm protected because I have Asperger's. It's pretty much super illegal to harass and fuck with somebody who's got autism. But uh, that's, like, I got no choice. Like, I can't control the fact that I have Asperger's. On a side note, this thing kind of, uh, it's got some sting to it. Let me show you. Yeah, I shot myself with it, and uh, the little welt right there. Yeah, this, this bug assault gun's got some sting to it, dude. I got some powdered tobacco here. Yes. Nah, oh, shit. Ah, <coughs> 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 oh, fuck. Oh, fucking hell, yes. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Excuse me. Last time on King Cobra JFS, King Cobra played some shitty guitar. Then he tried to make a she ball. And then you couldn't get laid. Next time on King Cobra JFS. Da, 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 da. Oh, shit. I think sex is overrated, to be honest. Well, thank you to whoever donated the $4.55 from, uh, from Sarah. Appreciate that, Sarah. Thank you much. Go ahead and transfer that four dollars and fifty-five cents to my bank account. There it go. Working on some wands, man. I'm gonna paint this next wand purple and teal. It'll look uh, interesting, to say the least. There's gonna be like four wands for sale in a bundle. You'll get two signed autograph tapes from my last two albums. We'll get a bar of bond soap to go with it. Back at it with another video response. Drinking my favorite energy, energy drink, Monster Energy. This is the only one I have. One's enough. And it appears people cannot look away. But even with all these followers, you got to diversify, man. You can't have all your eggs. I mean, people can't look away because, like I said, people find train wrecks to be entertaining, to be honest. Like when you see Cobra slamming himself on alcohol in some of my other videos, you're just like, oh, bloody hell, Cobra, that's not good for you. But I can't look away. And there are times when I'm just like, when I'm passed out on camera because I drink too much. I don't like the way that looks, to be honest. 
that's real talk and that's just self-reflection it's cool to have a drink on camera and chillax and bullshit and shoot the breeze but when you're so drunk you're passing out on camera that's just not a good look for youtube it's, it's kind of sad to be honest so even i'm self-aware of my drinking you know what i'm saying as much as i love to drink i don't have to have it all the time yeah this this part's really disturbing you see nick avocado has clearly smeared papa john's pizza all over his bloody face and he's just got a bunch of them in his hand like papa john's pizza making stupid silly faces you want to blame Nick Avocado for the way he is. You're so concerned about his weight, but you fuckers are the ones encouraging him. By subscribing to his bloody channel, you're encouraging this shitty behavior. Cobra, calm down. I see a fly on my computer screen. I'll hell to the no. Like, I'm not here to start shit with any YouTuber in particular. If Nick Avocado wants to be a weirdo and wants to be morbidly obese and put himself into an early grave from overeating, all for the entertainment of some sick assholes who, instead of being like, hey, man, you might want to get some help. That's his prerogative, I guess. You currently have $9 and... What is that? $9 and... 84 cents to be paid out. Sweet, I gotta pay out on Teespring. Start it. It's your boy, King Cobra. Now, some fans sent me some bugs to snack on. They got different flavors to try. These are Mexican candies. These are quite popular in certain parts of the world. People eat these like candy or delicacy, if you will. Look at that. Also, check out that Potion Time glass. That is fucking sick. Cheddar cheese flavored. This one is sour cream and onion, yes. This one happens to be bacon and cheese flavored. That sounds pretty delicious. Salt and vinegar, man. Turn on the light so you can see. Crickets and larvettes. All kinds of flavors. So grab a larvette first. Mm-hmm. And a cricket. Crunchy. Mm-hmm. The flavor is nice. A little crunchy like a chip. That's how you do it, tubes. Giant water bug. What? My fans will send stuff like this to the P.O. box. I dumped them out of the... F oh, dude. Look at that shit. Got the little freshener pack. See this shit? I'll get around to it. Just give me a second. Yeah, it tastes like your typical snackable bugs. Crunchy. We'll do it here in a second. I'm stalling because this, this is weird. Like, it's, it's weird. It's an adjustment. Like, protein, eating jerky, beef, you know what I'm saying? But in a post-apocalyptic type future... This may be the only option we have, is these dehydrated bugs. So yes, it's weird, it's gross, but the sooner you get used to eating it, the better off you're prepared. Okay, we eat some water bugs. Nah. YouTube, subscribe for more crazy content. Crunchy. 
the flavor is not too bad, but it's a little bland. Forever. Those. Speaking of being an entrepreneur, making some wands for Etsy. I'll be doing a batch of five wands in one bundle, three big wands and two mini wands plus a bar of tactical soap and two signed copies of my last two albums so you get five wands three big ones two smaller ones for pocket size magic and that kind of thing and uh, yeah i do appreciate y'all if you do buy it it's, it's going to be expensive though hell yeah Let's see if we have merch cool man i made like 14 dollars and 26 cents from selling two of these badass potion time cups that's what's up. Well, it's Friday. It's about 5 o'clock. Hope you all having a fantastic weekend. Fuck the sickos. Fuck the Forbidden Four. Ah, you got $19.25. That is most definitely what's up. Thank you, Joshua, for the $20 to the PayPal. Will not say your last name. Might go get me some uh, liquor and... Do a drink combo for this year's sick party time potions time mug. King Cobra back at it. Got me a party sub for when I get hungry later. That's what's up. The American sub from Signature Cafe. No, of course it's potion time. Ah, Almost done making that batch of wands. The next batch of wands is going to have five wands in it, three regular size and two smaller size wands. All of them are going to have shotgun shell handles and custom paint. One's gold, silver, and copper. The other one's teal and purple. They're going to all red one and an all silver one. They'll have black leather. They look very nice. I'll be selling all five for 420 bucks. A couple months, and I haven't had sex in a long time, and quite frankly, I don't care. Sometimes it's a blessing in disguise. I went and got an STI check and found out my condom size is magnum, and then I also found out that I'm clean. Yes. American sub made daily from the Signature Cafe, ham, turkey, roast beef, American cheese. That is Scooby-Doo and Shaggy status. <coughs> Excuse me. For like seven bucks. Could you get a five foot foot long at Subway that this fucking packed for that much money? No. I love me a, a good party sub. That's a healthy chunk of sub. That's a massive sub for seven dollars. Signature subs, your American party sub is where it's at. That's a big fucking chunk of sandwich, dude. That's a good sub. Every grocery store has a signature party subs. It's a big ass sub. Seven, eight, nine bucks. It would be insane if I ate this whole sub in one sitting. That is a fucking big ass party sub for eight, seven, eight dollars. That's a big ass fucking sub. If you know, Subway, you could get a sub stack this high. That is a big ass party sub. Have you checked out the party subs at your local grocery store? That's a good party sub. Check out the party subs at your local grocery store, dude. I got like one more alcoholic beverage in the fridge. I might save that to, for tomorrow. I might just drink it up in one sitting at night. I don't care. There, there's plenty of of age chicks who will just give it to me in a second because I'm King Cobra JFS, which is all fun and dandy, but the challenge of getting it makes the reward sweeter. Both women and men get crap for showing emotion. All of a sudden, you're having that Cobra breakthrough where it's like, wait a second. Let's stop focusing on what separates the genders and what makes women and men similar. Holy shit, I understand how the opposite sex thinks. Yes, it's a Friday. This is the last one I got in the fridge. I watched one of my female friends... Literally buy a slutty nun costume for Halloween one year. And they were doing it to piss off their current boyfriend because he was treating her like shit. And she wanted to show him, you better put your shit in order because you're going to lose out on something good. And watching her pick out that costume when I'm just like, oh, that is fucking torture. Ah.
And there's nothing you can do but keep your mouth shut and go, yeah, show that man what's up. But if you want any chances of even hooking up with that, you got to realize she's making her own mistakes and you're going to make your own mistakes and you got to let them do their thing. And as she and her cheated on, like as, as she and the dude she cheated with, on her current boyfriend laid together afterwards, planning their next secret rendezvous, rendezvous, rendezvous. Son of a bitch. That last half, I was a little too quick in pouring it. A little too quick to pour it. Let's see how many people ordered one. Two more people bought a Potion Time drinking glass. That's what I like to see. Now I got $28.52 profit from Teespring. We got four orders. Cheers, Alicia. Even after my little extravaganza with Albertsons earlier, I still got a dollar and twenty-four cents USD in my PayPal. I'm gonna transfer my remaining PayPal amount to my bank account. Sweet. My bank account and my PayPal are out of the negative. That's pretty sweet. Because when you get your own potion time drinking glass, you're going to be like, yes! Cobra Cult is a beautiful thing, YouTube. It really is. Got a wicked sick idea for a drink combination that I'll be doing when I get my wand money. Just waiting for the glue to dry on the last wand before I podge it, let it dry. And that 420 bucks will go towards me getting more wand supplies, doing food hacks, drink combos, getting the wands in the mail, paying bills, all that good shit. So this is Buttsman Podcast, episode number 48. We're going to listen to what now I do actually have Tourette's. It's not as bad as when I was younger. I've learned to uh, control it and manage it a bit better. But some people have a harder time controlling their Tourette's, to be honest. There are people who have autism out there who suffer from it a lot worse than I do. You get all these fucking assholes who are just like, Oh my God, Cobra, you belong in a group home. And I'm like, yes, but I actually know somebody who's in a group home. And the dude is very special needs, and he's awesome, and the dude has three jobs that he goes to. So you're saying it like it's a bloody insult, and I'm like, first of all, I'm overqualified for that shit. And second of all, I, I know people who live in group homes who maintain really normal lives. You're using it as an insult just shows how ignorant you are. I always feel like that's like a bloody fucking cliche, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god, you're autistic? Do you live in a group home too? And I'm like, yeah. Like, there's nothing wrong with being in a group home, to be brutally honest. But one, my insurance won't cover it because group homes are expensive. And uh, two, I'm not, uh, I'm not special needs enough to uh, be in that kind of situation. They take one look at me and go, wait, you have your own Etsy store? Yeah. Uh, I remember going to, uh, to uh, school with a kid named Tyler, and uh, this this kid I went to school with back in the day, like, he literally had to be careful what you do or said because he, he literally start repeating everything you said. So, like, <laughs> and then, like, he couldn't help it, dude. He was special needs, but, like, if I start going, <laughs> he started copying me, and it's like, yes! You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be a total cunt about it and start cussing and shit. But then the teachers would be like, Mr. Saunders. So, like, no, yeah, you know, you had to watch what you said around him. And he was a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Like, you know you're an ass for doing it. 
In fact, I was in special special ed one year. Shocking, I know. And when I was in special ed that one year, I, I rode the short bus. And, uh, of course, I was 10, 11, 12 at the time. So I was, I was really young. And, you know what I'm saying? When I rode the short bus, we had this uh, one deaf kid who was just learning sign language. And I taught this little deaf kid how to flip people off. It was it was fantastic. Now I had this one redheaded chick that did not like me on that bus, and uh, I don't know. We were having this conversation about some random stupid shit, and this big misunderstanding happened. And then she just every day I got on the bus with this chick, she told her grandmother to sh shake her fist at me, and I was like, it was the dumbest misunderstanding. And I tried telling her it was a misunderstanding that it's not what it was kind of thing and freaking. <laughs> so when she wasn't looking, I taught the deaf kid how to flip people off. And it was fucking great because then she literally was sitting there talking to uh, the kid like, oh, so-and-so, aren't you just adorable, you know? And then the kid went, went like that. I'm sitting there in my seat just trying not to laugh, dude. It was just like, oh, I'm so going to hell for this. But I <laughs> <laughs> then the, then the redhead I went, rode the bus with was like, she literally, the bus driver, she was like, Jerry, Juanito just flipped me off. <laughs> oh, my God. It was great. <laughs> The bus driver was cool, though, because he was like, hey, man, I didn't tell Juanito's parents where he learned that from, but you can't be doing that crap. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Remember, honey, I shrunk the kids, the TV series, and uh, they had a little odd scientific fact that if you eat lots of yogurt, it could extend your life. And, uh, yeah, I remember the misunderstanding, too, because freaking this chick was trying to tell me about her grandmother. So me being the dumbass, I was just like, so does your grandmother eat lots of yogurt then? Is that why she lives so long? And she mistook it as a, as I was calling her grandmother fat, which, no, not even the case. <laughs> it was dumb. It was dumb. It was a misunderstanding. It was dumb. So then she'd yell, she'd yell out, out her bus window, Grandma, shake your fist at him. And I'm just like, <sighs> No Bodlam Chronicles? No, they're, they're staying blocked from my fucking channel. You're, you're taking the grossest part of my videos and making it all about the focus. You don't recap the fact that, oh, hey, King Cobra posted a, a dank Little Caesars food hack. You, you focus on all the grossest parts of my videos when I'm not trying to be like that on purpose. No, nah, dude. Piss off. I'm not freeing Bodlam Chronicles. He's, he's staying blocked from my channel. You steal my videos for clout, and then you focus on all the grossest parts you can find. Like, fuck off. Yeah, oh, clout chasers be like vultures. $9.95. Thank you for that. What up? Exhumed museum privilege. Fuck Amazon. I'm never ordering from them again. <laughs> I don't care if they change CEOs. The former CEO is a creep. Yeah. The current wand is in the last stage of drying, so it's almost done, yes. For the potion, we have half bang birthday cake blast. No oh, shit balls. And the other half mixed with some pinnacle cake. We got we already got four people who ordered a glass. It's a great way to support the channel and support Satan. Because Satan gets a bad name in our media. And this uh, satanic goth hippie is changing things, man. I had to walk a long ass ways for this drink combination. The normal gas station I had bought it, would have bought it at, was out, so I had to walk to another gas station and cheers.
Sorry I didn't get to YouTube sooner. I was at a friend's house testing out the drink combo, dealing with the stress. Fuck Beth Jesus. You see what I did there? Fuck Amazon. Fuck sickos. We all know what y'all did when you took your first trip to space. To the person who buys the $420 batch of wands, you're getting your money's worth. A fresh, unused bar of tactical bond soap. And the last two albums autographed and signed. So yes, it helps pay the bills, but you help support Cobra's channel. There is a person I'm going to unban from my YouTube. They talked to me earlier. Not going to say who it is. But you know how it is. No, you know it's a good morning when you got this. <laughs> so we're going to sit by it like a distinguished adult. I'm never buying from Amazon again. After I found out about the CEO who's stepping down and what he did in, in outer space. I stand with Tobias Hockenberry. Oh, yeah, I said it. I fucking said it. What? What? We're not allowed to talk about it because your account will get shut down if you do talk about it. So, uh, yeah. And you can't even say his name because it's copyrighted. But I, I stand with Tobias Hockenberry. 1,000%. He's a victim. He's a survivor. Oh, the article was deleted because the CEO paid a bunch of his fuck you money to cover it up. The one that stepped, the one that's stepping down. So you're not going to know what happened. No, it blew my fucking mind. I was sitting there hanging out in the Courtney Sucks Discord like, what? Are you kidding me? I'm sipping like, because this is all I have left for alcohol until I get more money. Now, if my channel gets deleted because of the system in play, you already know what's up, YouTube. You Don't say I didn't fucking warn you. If the King Cobra JFS channel gets deleted because I'm speaking against these sickos, then you already know what's up. If I didn't have the support I have and the dreams I have and the aspirations to build my dream house and do great things with my life, I'd be in a dark place right now, to be honest. Even though I hate kids, I would take a bullet for a kid, to be honest. Like, I would dive in front of a gunman to save a kid's life, even if I didn't know the kid, because y'all got your whole life ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I doing with my life besides drinking and smoking and you know, fucking making music. I'm doing great things with my life. Living my dream and living my best life. Rocking that Black Rain, that Black Rain Ozzy Osbourne tour t-shirt. Now that I think of it, that was my first concert. My first rock concert was Ozzy Osbourne and Rob Zombie with the Black Rain tour edition. I was in Fargo, North Dakota a couple weeks before Halloween. Yeah, man. The second time was in Denver, Colorado, the Pepsi Center next to the humongous ass clock tower in Denver, Colorado. And it was just awesome, dude. Ozzy saw me in the crowd and he's just like, that goth dude knows how to rock. Come on. I'm like, yes. You didn't have to fucking recognize me. Just the fact that I'm, I'm existing in the same the same lifetime as the Prince of Darkness is, is pretty fucking sweet. Cobes, I sent you money. Did ya? Well, if you did, I definitely appreciate it. Holy fucking shit. $59.42. God damn it. Thank you. <laughs> My Sunday is going to be predictable. I'm definitely getting some more alcohol. <laughs> yeah. I might order something to eat and then fucking go to the liquor store and get some bo more booze. Not going to lie. I might 
walk on down to Pizza Hut and just do a custom order. Yeah, I do. I'm not going to lie. I smoke pot for my Asperger's Black Flame to light my green smoke. Black and green are my favorite colors. And uh, it's just uh, it's, it's, it's part of my religion, YouTube. You think of yourself as a Rastafarian, Luciferian, stoner type, hippie, satanic, metalhead, goth warlock type and you're just like yeah that sounds about right check your paypal no i already checked it dude holy fucking shit a hundred and five dollars and 77 cents dude you guys are too generous i got a hundred and five dollars and 77 cents in my paypal Holy sh dude. Oh yeah, we're definitely doing a food hack from a random fast food restaurant. I'm thinking about walking down to Pizza Hut and fucking doing a custom dinner box order and then calling a cab back to my place. Christopher says for the six dollars sixty-six cents donation, praise Cobra's magic. Yes. Mark says, thanks, Cobes, for the Bond Tactical Soap. I get compliments from girls and guys. Pheromone soap can get you. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I'm not reading the rest of that. Just because guys like to send a bit, too, it doesn't mean shit. I like, Tactical Soap smells good. Check PayPal. Well, I suppose I could check it again. I mean, shit. $167.18. God damn, dude. Appreciate it. $167.18 in my PayPal. This is some surreal shit, dude. This is definitely going to go towards me getting some more booze and potentially doing a Pizza Hut food review. Because nobody out pizzas the hot. <laughs> yeah. What's up, YouTube? Just sitting here hanging out, waiting for my Pizza Hut order. Because okay, nobody out pizzas the hot. Not a sponsor. However, what is a sponsor of my channel is Raycon Headphones. And if you use coupon code JFS, capital J, capital F, capital S, you get 20% off your next order of Raycon headphones. They reached out to your boy King Cobra and they want to sponsor the channel. And now I get money sent directly to my PayPal every time you make a purchase. So get yourself some Raycon headphones. Yes. Your boy Cobra's got a food review. What up? We ordered the uh, Pizza Hut big dinner box and we customized it. The two medium pizzas are meat lovers. Extra cheese, extra bacon, jalapenos, onions, garlic, buttery crust love. One pizza has Alfredo sauce, the other one has barbecue sauce. For the wings, we want buffalo blazing hot. And for the cheese sticks on the side to go with it, yes. Oh shit, look at this. Now, the Raycon sponsorship, I hope it's legit, but it might not be legit. It could be one of my trolls fucking with me, so I do apologize if you're going to Raycon headphones and using coupon code JFS and the code says invalid, then they probably haven't set it up yet, or it's one of my trolls fucking with me. Either way you shape it, let's get into it. Oh my god, YouTube, look at this delicious box of goodies. Oh, shit. I also got a two liter of Mountain Dew, but I dropped the two liter of Mountain Dew on the way back into my place, so I'm going to let that sit in the fridge for a minute. Oh, yes. Garlic, 
love all over that pizza. Yes. I ended up paying like $58 for this order, but so worth it. Mm. Fifty-eight bucks for this entire thing. The only reason why it cost so much is because your boy had to custom make his shit. Both medium pizzas are meat lovers. Extra cheese, extra bacon, jalapenos, onions, garlic, butter, crust, love. This one has Alfredo sauce. This one has the barbecue sauce. One bite. One second. Hey man, what's up? I'm doing a video right now. I want to come in. What? I'm doing a video. You want to come in? Sure. All right. The uh, this is my buddy Dave. He's a cool dude. Hey, how's it going? It's going. <sighs> I had to get out of the apartment. I believe it. You know how it is. Yeah. You can only look at the walls for so long. Mm-hmm. You start talking to you. Mountain Dew and Bud Light Platinum. Then you start answering them. And yeah, yeah, I'm gonna move here in a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> YouTube, the dinner box is where it's at. I'll catch you later. Just uploaded a dank Pizza Hut food review, which was freaking delicious. That was definitely what I wanted. Even if they fucked up on one tiny little thing, I honestly don't care. Made like 169 bucks on PayPal earlier, so I appreciate that. I took the $85 that I had left in my PayPal and threw that into my bank account. So my, my account was already in the positive. But that just filled it up. So yes, yes, yes. So it turns out that the uh, Raycon sponsorship was bullshit and that my trolls were just fucking with me. It is what it is. And, you know, people want, to, want me to get mad. I'm laughing about it, to be honest. Also, I love how I can't have a friend come over to my apartment without everyone assuming, oh, my God, Cobra, is that your drug dealer? Saw someone bought another anti-rape shirt. Fucking bitch. And I'm never going to stop making videos. I might take a couple day break here and there, but I'll never stop making videos. And your boy Cobra listed a batch of wands for sale. And it's worth every penny. You're getting a brand new bar of Bond Tactical Soap, five wands, and two autographed cassette tapes of my last two albums. But while I was out getting Pizza Hut, I picked up a pack of Marb Smooth 100s and a 12-pack of Bud Light Platinum, so I'm set for the evening. Did you know I'm, I'm Casper Wyoming's only professional wand maker? Shit, you not. I found this out a couple weeks back, and I was like, fucking sweet. That's kind of cool to have that title. I'm a proud wand maker. I'm very humble about my successes. My buddy Alex Anderson said, because he's not afraid to be himself. And I'm like, yes. Rest in peace, Alex. God damn it. I'm not putting on some false persona to try to impress people. I'm like, this is who I am. You don't like it? Yet, strangely enough, nobody says shit when a woman wants a dude who's six feet tall, has a six-inch cock when he gets hard, and he's got a six-pack abs, <laughs> and a six-salary figure. If you're in a situation where you have a step-parent... It can be awkward at first, but if you give it a chance, it is awesome. I love my stepmom as though she were my birth mom, and that's just the truth. Nothing against my uh, birth mom, that psycho Pentecostal. Cunter. You know, my dad tells me, you need to stop being so hard on Laura, Josh. She grew up in a rough household with super religious strict parents. And plus, she's like mentally unstable and she can't, she's not mentally stable enough to raise a kid. And I'm like, hmm. 
At this point, I got no problems with my birth mom. She wants to hang out and reach out. That's cool. If she does it, that's cool, too, to be honest. I don't care. I'm 30 years old. If you're a responsible drinker, you're just like, well, after this many drinks, I start doing this or I start doing that. So you got to know your fucking limit. Unless you're like me and uh, <laughs> you basically have no limits. Within reason, of course. Now, I'm not advocating for drunk driving, but uh, I've been to the bar and got my like, shit face wasted on alcohol. And then w when it was time for me to go, I hop on my bike and drive a straight line back to my apartment. And cops will be following me home because they're just like, I saw Cobra's video at the bar, just making sure he gets home safely. But the second he swerves, oh, drinking and driving. <laughs> I have met women who are completely submissive to their husbands, and they are in it to win it. But they still vote for Bernie Sanders. I don't get it. Hey, Bernie Sanders is awesome. Come on. What you got against Bernie? It blows my fucking mind. You're watching Bernie Sanders make this great speech. And as if some sign from the fucking universe, a bird lands on his podium, this beautiful little bird. And then Bernie Sanders makes a beautiful quote about said bird. Then the bird flies off. Like the universe is saying, why isn't this man present? I had a vision for doing that Pizza Hut dinner box, and I completed it to the best of my abilities. Dude, eventually I want to run out of beer, and I'm cool with it. I get to about two left. I want to have some for tomorrow, like when I wake up. That's going to be my cutoff point. I got to... Five wands for sale for $420, and it's an eight people's cards. Oh, look out. When I get more stable with my business, which is pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. But if I built my dream house and I had the kind of lottery money, which, hey, Cobra could win the lottery and build his dream house, and all you motherfuckers would be going... Damn, Cobra, nice clock tower. And I'm like, yes. Side note, I went to a, I went to high school with a pretty cool chick named Jennifer, and she was super into Slappy, the ventriloquist dummy. And she's a cool chick. Yes. Oh, dude, remember this one time when I was in school and, like, Jennifer gave me a hug? And freaking the dude that was trying to get with her was like, Jennifer. And she's just like, what? Yeah, I was the asshole who wore a leather jacket like Fonzie in, in school, dude. Like, I was that guy. That guy, yeah. I still, I still got it, YouTube. I've just matured a bit. It's their lucky day. And sooner or later, they believe they're going to win. And up. Oh this is and just what he said right there gambling all the way this is why your boy cobra doesn't play the lottery too often every once in a while it's like oh hey look the powerball's at like 290 million i'd be happy with 290 million dollars i might buy a ticket so you buy a ticket and if you don't win it's what it is <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's the thought of winning. That's why a lot of people gamble. Because with $290 million, I could totally build my dream house, <laughs> start my toy company. Dude, your temper sucks. You should get that in control. You'll be a lot happier in life. When things are not pissing you off as much and you're just like, you learn to let shit slide because it does not fucking matter. You're just like, well then. With the law. And 
if you're truly unfortunate, they'll convert you into a substance abuser because misery loves company. Yes. Misery loves company. I'll drink to this. <laughs> yes. I haven't had sex in three years, and whenever a chick notices me to a point where they're just like, hey, Josh, how you doing? You getting a... You, 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 you getting the Albertsons party sub? I see that party sub you're getting. That shit look good. I observe women and men behavioral patterns when it comes to the dating scene. And I totally see women and men bitching about the same thing. But as soon as I call it out for what it is, I'm the asshole for pointing it out. And fuck if I give a shit about having any alcohol to drink tomorrow. I want to drink this whole case in one sitting because that's what you subscribe for. Okay, yes. This is, in fact, the last beer for the evening. You don't have to donate to my PayPal, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated, man. Get yourself a potion time drinking glass. Yes. Let that bubble down for a second. Cheers, but my platinum. If I, if I found a smoking hot of age goth chick of my own, and I was living in my dream house and I won the lottery, I trust and believe I would create and procreate for the right reasons. You already know, YouTube, if I had a son, I would name him Jason Saunders. He would take the last name of the chick I fucked to make him. If I had a female, her name would be Lilith Saunders. That's just how it is. Anyway. We went and got some uh, some beer, and he requested that I get Jack Daniels with the money, so I did, of course. So thank you again, little Robbie. I appreciate it. Cheers. We'll do a Jack Daniels combination after I finish this beer. We're going to have like two or three, four drink minimum. Four drinks minimum. The topic of messages, I received some hate mail this week. And uh, periods have a stereotype of being rather gross in our society. It's not gross. It's just a natural part of nature that we would have to go through. I don't know how they're called the uh, fairer sex because it seems a bit unfair, to be honest. I go to the shop at Spencer's Gifts. The Spencer's don't got it. Usually Hot Topic has it. As soon as you fucking say that crap, people are automatically call you a mall core goth. And it's just like, dog, sometimes you get what you get. Like, ordering shit online, you gotta have it shipped to you, and it's like, shopping at the store in town is more convenient, and it supports local businesses. I get a pair of black Wrangler jeans from Walmart, and a freaking band t-shirt from Spencer's, and some steel toe boots, and I'm set, you know what I'm saying? Like, So again, a big shout out to Little Robbie, I appreciate the uh, support brother, that's what's up, he donated $75 to my PayPal, and I got another couple of schmeckles from the Teespring, I made like 95 bucks today, that's pretty sweet, call it a good day's work, merchandise baby. I love animals, dude, like dogs, cats, cobras, birds. If I built my fucking dream house, I'd probably get a pet cobra, but I'd start off with like a monocled or Indian cobra. And then when I got my experience with having a devenomed and rambunctious, you know what I'm saying, I'd work my way up. 
just sitting there with a monocle cobra on my on my shoulders, like hello Salazar. Aren't you just adorable? Like shit. Fucking snakes love me, dude. I've run into like snakes in the wild and just pick them up and they slither through my hands and it's just like I sure wrote a story about a jeans boy snake. That'd be what I should do, yeah. That'd be sick. Most of them like vocal. Yes, black flame to light my green smoke. It's beautiful YouTube. The cult I'm establishing is fucking beautiful. And when people start seeing it, it's just like, That guy's awesome. The vegan booty is instantly recognized as the vegan bandit. I like, oh, yes. Back in my day, kids are like, ew, vegetables are gross. Let me tell you something. Vegetables are all right, man. You eat your vegetables and your meats, and you have a balanced diet of vegetables and meats. Vegetables are gross, but if you eat them with your meats, you have a balanced diet. So vegans are right on a couple of things, but for the most part, it's just some fucking extremist hippy-dippy bullshit, man. Aussie rules, you know it. Rocking the shirt, rocking my retouch knuckles. My uh, ex girlfriend was super new, new to tattooing and it faded. But I got a retouch by a professional. <coughs> And fucking Get this uh, cover with the pot leaves. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that looks are only half of it. If you're as dumb as a box of Dale Rocks, well then, your looks will only get you so far in the dating scene. Do you think women and men don't like lie to make themselves seem more important or more attractive than they really are, think again. Because let me fucking tell you, they do. And you may think to yourself, oh, hey, yeah, this chick, you know, this chick, she claims to be a, a swimsuit model and she's also super good looking and Super intelligent and super in shape, but she's got her master's degree. Toho sounds like the perfect catch. And then, of course, the dude's sitting there going, Oh, yeah, you know, like, I work for NASA and fucking I got a huge cock and I make like fucking six figures a year, you know. And then they meet in real life and it's just like, Ah, oh, you're not what you said on your dating profile. <laughs> Swipe left. No, I don't want none of it. Even if I didn't have fangirls, it's just a good idea in general. I'm giving you good advice here. Don't be in a rush to get laid. It's not a need. It's a want. And would you rather be in a sexless life for three to four years or be some poor schlup who's 
<laughs> got his girlfriend pregnant on college prom night. And they're not ready for the kid. Now they're stuck up in their ears with student debt loans. And uh, diaper payments. One of the first girls I crushed on did not let me down gently. She literally called me a loser in front of everyone. And I'm laughing at that dumb bitch's ass because it's like, hey, look, I'm a YouTube celebrity. Ain't that a bitch, Daily? Bad news, baby. You're not. I really don't need to see your picture to realize that you're probably not attractive. Yeah. You might be hot in a worn out cougar kind of what beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. Wait, but attractive even for a no, no. So what I get for leaving the fucking window open? In a way, but it's the fucking truth. Like, <laughs> piece of shit. You may not like it, but hey, the truth hurts for a reason. And the truth is, only 6.5 men out of a thousand are getting married today. And those guys, they can be real stupid or real picky. And why is that? Because they can be. And those dudes, you really think they're going to write a check against you? A post wall. Ah, fellow YouTubers. We got some Buffalo Wild Wings. 20 boneless wings. Buffalo dry seasoning. Hot. Honey barbecue. Mango habanero with ranch for the dipping sauce. A cheese curd, bacon cheeseburger, American cheese, bacon lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles, mayo, chipotle barbecue sauce on the bun, and regular french fries, some mozzarella sticks on the side. Ignore the flies. People are worried about me, and I'm like, don't be worried about me, bro. I'm doing great things with my life. Buffalo Wild Wings. Ridiculous. Bacon cheese curd cheeseburger. Mozzarella sticks. is the ultimate
I have part two planned out on video of that food review, but I god darn damn lost the footage for it. I was like, some bitch gone created my own flavor profile for Buffalo Wild Wings. That's all right. How the fuck y'all doing? I was gonna go to a friend's house earlier, but I fell I fell asleep. I always do it tomorrow. It's no big deal. Now the boneless wings that I got with my uh, Buffalo Wild Wings order, those fucking wings were fucking delicious. Even though I lost the footage of me eating at least ten of, ten plus of them, Jones. I might take that uh, current batch of wands that I have and sell each one individually for a cheaper price. I went ham on the customization because I can. I went a little expensive on this uh, order for y'all on YouTube. Yes, we got some more left. That's the last of the wings. Oh, hey, Cobra, I saw y'all doing the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings bacon cheeseburger. You talked about the wings in your video. You gonna do a part two? And I tried doing a part two, then I lost the footage, and I was like, fuck this. Then I fell asleep, then I walked up and redid it, so there you go. <sighs> Counter blew the budget on the Buffalo Wild Wings custom wing challenge. But then Dr. Squatch comes out. The Stone IPA soap. And it's black and green. It's my two favorite colors, and that's the only reason I buy it, to be honest. So it's like, dude, I see what Dr. Squash is trying to do, but at the same time, it's just like, God damn it. The only reason I buy this is because of black and green. That's pretty look that's a pretty looking combination of colors. I don't really smell the beer hops. I think the charcoal, the smoky scent, is dominating this bar. The soap game be changing. 48 cents, Dr. Squatch has. The scent number 48 is their black and green stone IPA soap. Well, there you go, YouTube. I saw that and I was just like, well, ain't that a trip? I want 48 bells in my quantum mansion. This is just simply a juicy little coincidence. What to do, YouTube? It's your favorite goth bad boy, King Cobra JFS. Boom, back in it with another video. Yes. Look at that. The special of the day fried catfish, clam chowder, and cheese sticks. And a Guinness, get it. Turn out the office, yes. Give you a quick little review of everything here. Fresh mozzarella sticks. What? I could string my guitar with this. Yes. Mm. 
um, Oh yes, YouTube. Let's have a conversation about this catfish. That is tender, delicious, dude. Get yourself a bite, man. That's the special day of the office. Cheers, folks. Got ourselves a uh, fan mailbox. Hey, Cobes, I got you a magic care package. Sweet, man. With plenty of drinks from potion mixing, and I had a local witch cast a spell on the wooden man to curse your trolls. I also put some movies I think you'd like. Please do movie reviews on stream and more sleep streams. <laughs> They're not intentionally sleep streams. I just drink too much on stream sometimes. Spicy ramen noodles. Yes. Holy shit balls. Dude wasn't kidding when he said he hooked it up with the potion. Sweet, this is the wooden dude they were talking about. That's sick. Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter, Aladdin, two disc special edition. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Yes, I can start my Harry Potter movie collection. That's what's up. Look at that, cigarettes and a lighter, yes. One second, I'm doing a video. But put that next to my uh, cigarettes right here. Use the tapes to sign. That's what's up. Just a bag of goodies. What's up, YouTube? Just a friend knocking at my door. No big dealio freely on that. So we're gonna need to do another drink combo. Finish the same as last time. But we're adding the addition of the true blue full throttle, which tastes like blue blue full throttle. Full throttle was the first energy drink I ever had. My dad was doing photography at a hot rod show with all these sick classic cars in this tiny ass burger restaurant. And then we stopped to grab lunch at the tiny burger restaurant and uh, full throttle original. Never had an energy drink. My dad was looking at it, making sure it didn't have alcohol in it. He's just like, oh, it's okay. It's alcohol free. Okay, yeah, he's okay. Sure. Never since then, I've been a fan of energy drinks. It's just the nostalgia of it. Throw a splash of that full throttle in there. Will it taste any different with the full throttle? We'll see. Sometimes being single and just waiting to see what comes your way works. I've discovered recently that I got that I got a wicked sense of humor. One of my buddies was hanging out with me at the bar earlier when I was having a just for the sake of conversation, I started pulling my stand-up routine. Dude, I had chicks all over just laughing their asses off like, oh that King Cobra, he's a funny motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to make a grocery store food hack involving a party sub. It's going to be my next cooking video. And the people are always going, you know what I'm saying? Like, they always use the negative side of this argument to argue against abortion. Like, it's a child's life. And I'm like, if they're not old enough to walk and talk and use the potty for themselves, then technically it's still just a fetus. Because you know what I find more offensive than cussing? These fucking woke tards who think they know what the fuck they're talking about, but you've done the research and you know what's up. No, it'd be like this. It'd be like a bunch of fucking idiots who are going, yeah, you know, two plus two actually equals eight because four goes into two eight times. And then you look at them and go, but yes, that's division, my good man. And you are telling them two plus two equals four. And then, and then they look at you like, and they argue with you and call you the fucking retard when you're the one who has the basic math skills to know two plus two equals four. And that four divided by two is eight. 
That's a basic example of my point that I'm trying to make. Like these fucking flat earther people are like, the earth is flat. And I'm just like, the earth is a ball that rotates in a circle while rotating in a bigger circle at the same time. This is why you have night and day. Right now in London, it's daytime. But when it's daytime here, it's nighttime in the UK. That's how the time zones work. The globe is rotating on a slower circle, but then rotating in a much bigger circle while rotating in a smaller circle around the sun. And when the Earth is constantly moving, while everyone else is moving, it creates the hamster wheel effect. It's basic fucking shit. Look, this is some good Jamaican grass, man. You want some of this? Some of this? Uh, some of the circle? With a black flame to light my green smoke. <laughs> a little bit of that, that 70s show magic. And hanging out down the street. <sighs> what wicked pickle. Okay, there we go. That's more Cobra style. Weird and unpredictable. <laughs> Whew! Taste the pickles. This is an acquired taste. Yes. <laughs> lump of vomit. But yeah, yes, the butt segments. When you hear men grunting and making noises like Tim Allen, like. <laughs> Ah, they also respond to because I pretty much grew up watching Home Improvement with my father, but that's beside the point. To social issues such as the conviction of I also grew up watching Freakazoid, but what's your point? I'm so sick and tired of mass shootings. And if people are getting killed just because they're Asian, that's stupid. YouTube is stop it! You're so stupid. Just because you have an opinion doesn't mean you should. Speaking of wands, your boy Cobra just sold five hundred dollars worth of wands. I'm like, I'm not trying to be that one hypocrite that's just like, yeah, but you spend money on cigarettes and alcohol, so you're room to talk. But it's the goddamn truth. The money you spend on Starbucks in like 12 months or less, you could literally have your own restaurant. Like, oh, hey, yeah, this is a bad thing. Fuck you. That's the truth. People are saying Starbucks would never promote hate speech. Yet, if you hate on someone for a certain reason, you're promoting hate speech. But, and promoting hate speech doesn't have to be a bad thing. We'll get into that in a later video. And instead of paying you back, they ask for more, and they're taking the money that you give them, and they're loaning it out to their friends. How soon would you show up at their house and kick the ever-loving shit out of them? I'm just asking exactly. for a friend. Exactly. Exactly. All these idiots out there who think communism is just like this utopian thing. That's one of my favorite things about them. They say, oh, the Constitution is outdated. It's written by a bunch of old dead white dudes who didn't really, you know, they don't get it. Okay. Uh. No, it's, uh, check that out. 
Yeah, extra cheese, extra bacon, onions, jalapenos, stuffed crust pizza. Got a large stuffed crust pizza with extra cheese, extra bacon, onions, jalapenos, and anchovies. Yes. You heard that right, folks. Extra cheese. Got a two liter of Mountain Dew to go with it. The King Cobra Special at Papa John's. Asked for two cups of garlic butter, but they hooked your boy up with three, so I was like, yes. <sighs> Look at that, YouTube. You know, you. Large stuffed crust, extra cheese. No stuffed crust, extra large pizza. Large stuffed crust pizza. Papa John's, epic stuffed crust pizza. Got a large stuffed crust pizza. Got an epic stuffed crust pizza. Got a large stuffed crust cheese pizza. Large stuffed crust pizza. Stuffed crust pizza. Papa John's. Large stuffed crust. Got a large stuffed crust pizza with extra cheese. Large stuffed crust pizza. On that stuffed crust action. Papa John's, you provided the stuffed crust. The large Alfredo sauce stuffed crust pizza. Stuffed crust pizza. Large stuffed crust pizza with stuffed crust cheese. Large stuffed crust. Got a large stuffed crust. If you don't got Papa John's in your area, I'm sorry to hear it. It isn't just stuffed crust. This is epic. This is Papa John's epic stuffed crust. Stuffed crust. You've heard me, you've heard me repeat this. Chillin' out on Saturday night, yes. Saturday night weekend. Uploading a uh, pizza video I made. I found a hair on the pizza I was eating last video and I threw the rest of it away because I wasn't eating that. That's nasty. The pizza itself was delicious, but when I saw the hair on it, I was just like, nope. I managed not to uh, eat any of the slices with it, thankfully. But I threw the rest of the pizza away as soon as I found out and saw that there was a hair on it. That's gross. That's happened to me twice in the last couple of weeks from different pizza chains. With that sound doesn't drive it nuts, I don't know what will. Starting the coffee with chopsticks using the Yes. Why are marriage jokes funny? Vortex method. The only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee. At the molecular level. Good morning. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am Terrence Pop says you're beyond help. I highly doubt that. Your videos and makes tons of videos where he just blah 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 shit talking about that. Well, he is beyond help. Fucking cells are really be a simp. But a lot of people are stuck in prison in their head. Definitely. Makes for a great first date. Makes for a great relationship. I don't care if you're together for the first time or you've been together 10, 20, or 30 years. That's fun. Motorcycling is also fun when you're alone. Deep in the shadow, I know it's hard. Tara Babcock has a sex doll. Fucking gross. Sex dolls are so gross. Sex is gross in general. Let's be real. If you can't get laid, and you settle for a sex doll just for someone to cuddle with. You're a weak piece of shit, pussy, who doesn't deserve companionship. 
I don't even care if my fans are like, Cobra, here's the money for a gothic sex doll. We want you to customize your own sex doll and do, do her up with your merch. I would donate the money to charity and be like, no, thank you. Uh, man, all these chicks talk about how much they want me, and it's just like, you expect me to make the first move? That's sexist. Fuck you. I'd rather be a semi-sexual, miserable piece of shit because I can't get laid than be in a fucking relationship with someone I don't appreciate. No offense to Tara Babcock, you know, you're doing your thing, girl. If you want to have a sex doll and you want to have a man on the side, like you want your man to fuck the sex doll while you watch, that's fucking gross and weird and creepy. But okay, that's your kink. As long as it's consensual, who cares? As long as the sex doll's of age, who cares? No, fuck sex, dude. That shit's gross. Fucking no chick wants to fuck me. I'll just exist for everyone's fucking amusement. That's cool. No, when you meet a chick that you really want to be with and... She's of age, and it doesn't happen because circumstances are a fucking bitch. You'll know exactly how I feel. So I'm kind of at that point where it's just like, yeah, you know what? Some of age pussy would be nice, but if it doesn't happen, oh, well, no skin off my shoes. Sex is fucking gross. People are fucking gross. I hate kids. I pretty much hate the human race. Cause we're all fucking fucked off assholes to each other. Like the sex doll I would get if I had the money would be like female of age and three thousand dollars just to cover the cost of shipping and everything. So one, I don't got that kind of money. So I may have come off as a bit grumpy and harsh when I seen Tara Babcock get sent this damn sex doll and I'm just like what the fuck okay first of all I don't need that crap although to be fair I see the appeal of sex dolls my trolls kind of ruined it with the first two if I haven't been laid in like eight years I consider getting one so no judgment here man So believe me, I understand the appeal of sex dolls. I had a couple of myself. They were fun, but they were both sent by trolls and untimely circumstances. Like, unless you want to send me 2800 for one, I ain't going to get one, dude. I got mad appeal with the ladies. I can see it around town. To announce that I have partnered with Zelex. Zelex is sponsoring this. If you send me crap like this to my PO box, it's just going to get sent back. I got the gift with the ladies. I don't have to have sex with women to know I'm sexy. That's the key to being a ladies' man. And most guys don't realize this. What's this? Cobra's drinking out of his potion time glass? Yes. Thank you for ordering. This glass, people have been ordering the merchandise. I made like 48 bucks on Teespring earlier. I appreciate that. Like three people ordered some more of this goodness, the Potion Time glass. What do we got? You have a donation of $48.33 to be made. Thanks to your PayPal King Cobra JFS fan merch. Yes. I made $48.33 selling merch. I can dig it, dude. Fuck yes. No, I got a fan who sent me a text message. They were just like, Hey, Cobra, could you make a video talking about the sex doll you want? And then if you order, if you talk about it, we'll get, we'll give it to you. 
I was like, dude, first of all, I don't need that shit. Second of all, okay, 2800 no bullshit. <coughs> if only I could show you the intimate parts, I would. Let me know what you guys think about the future of the sex industry, of your sex life, and of what you want. The future of the sex industry, it's selective. The future of my sex life, selective. Good evening, fellow YouTubers. Doing Taco Bell food challenge. Three Doritos, Locos, Nachos. Three Chalupas Supreme. Oh man, it's getting good. I forgot. I ordered. Nacho cheese fries. Taco Bell. Food challenge. Well, it's going to be this much. This much top of guts. This is that the Baja Blast. That mango fiesta. I ate more than I intended. Choice in the matter, do I? No, I do not. Stupid fuck. Stupid fuck. Fuck. Rest in peace, Joanna. One of my fans messaged me and said the reputed dragon Joanna passed away. A fan of mine had a one-year-old bearded dragon lizard that he had to put down and him and his bearded dragon would watch my videos. I'm sorry for your loss, man. So I ordered some DoorDash and I got a super sub. I made it giant on rosemary parmesan bread. 
extra cheese, extra bacon, extra meat, jalapeno peppers, lettuce, mayo, olive oil, blend, onions, oregano, red wine, vinegar, salt, spicy brown mustard, and tomatoes. Two bags of nacho cheese Doritos and two 20 ounces of Mountain Dew. Oh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I got $38 from my uh, order from DoorDash, but shh, I mean, this is a good sandwich. I don't want to pay 38 bucks for this. I really don't. Probably cheaper in store, but you're paying for delivery fees and such, but it is what it is. This is my last DoorDash order for a minute until I get uh, some more ones made. But if we got short off on YouTube, we like you to check us out. Now recording for the new album, I have a song called Satan's Bell. Let's have a listen. Four beers is my limit. I don't want to burn through my whole 12 pack in one sitting and one night. It just seems like a waste of beer, to be honest. Then you're sitting there craving it the next day, and it's like, well, you don't have any because you drank it all the night before, and it's just like, ah. Uh. So then you buy more, and then it's just like, you know, at some point you could just learn to drink less and enjoy the buzz you do have, and that's being a responsible drinker. I showered with my soap before going to the liquor store, and as usual, I got compliments from the ladies. Yes, I love tactical soap. This is so. Roger, okay, Sergeant Houston. This is Sam with USAA. Do you see the tow truck? Yeah, thank you. That was that. Sergeant I'm Houston, I'm not skipping this. this I got mad. Or that her grandpa's dog tags would be left behind. That's what we're made for. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Get a quote today. I'm in a Harry Potter wand, which is this one right here. This one is Basilisk Fang with uh, Vestral hair and a dragon opal on the handle. Sounds nerdy as shit. Because it is. And that's my ultimate Harry Potter wand. Using a basilisk fang like Slytherin's wand. But then using Thestral hair like Dumbledore's wand. Oh my god, YouTube. That would create the most powerful fucking wand in Harry Potter lore history based off of the research. going to address. I'm sorry that you're feeling scared, Sydney baby. I don't know why you to feel scared. I'm not trying to hit on Sydney Watson, but when of age females feel scared, it's just as bad as the underage folks feeling scared too. In his own classroom. Guy goes on to say he's not the only teacher at Intercom High School who shares his radical beliefs. Like I, I have an Antifa flag on my on my wall. What? This cracker right here. This cracker right here. Fuck Antifa. Fuck Antifa. If these sick fucks were just fighting against fascism and that was it, I wouldn't have a problem with it. 
that the fact that you're supporting pedophiles is so disgusting! Oh, fuck. I'm gonna grab my fucking Hugh Hefner slippers because I'm pissed about this shit. Oh, Oh, uh, what could that be, YouTube? This is the orders. Three Doritos Locos Tacos Supreme Combo Large with Mountain Dew Barha Blast. Nacho cheese to read the locos top of supreme. Like I loaded it. Extra cheese, extra beef. You know, you know how it goes. Now for the crunch wrap, seasoned beef, lettuce, nacho cheese sauce, and two Baja blasts with two mango tea blasts. Jones. Here, nacho cheese, the Raiders Locos. Nacho cheese tacos. I have several people that I know who are lesbian, and I'm like, this shit is a fucking insult to LGBTQ plus community. <laughs> you got people who are saying they're not lesbian, but they identify as lesbian, but they're attracted to men. That means you're straight. For fuck's sake! Sorry.